everybody, this is No Name Moments of Sport, and today I am back. Oh my god, that didn't work. I was hoping to do that perfectly smooth transition, but... Um... Something's gone wrong. Not work? God damn it. Okay, so the issue here is I have like a main. Uh, I, I was using some stuff in OBS to uh, try to get this to work, and that that smooth transition did not go as well as I expected. Went well in the title screen, did not go well after the title screen. God damn it. Anyways, yes, I am back with my uh, anti-aircraft cruiser here, the one I was working on last stream, which I want to get done this stream. And so far, she's looking pretty good. Uh, so we still gotta do, in terms of stuff, we still gotta do. Um, we still gotta do deck clutter. That's gonna be later on. We still gotta do railings. Uh, I think we're gonna need more stairs in various locations. Uh, maybe more doors. Although, I don't know, I don't think this section here is designed to be, designed to have doors in it. Um, need to get this aft superstructure worked on more. It doesn't look great right now. And, uh... Might even have to modify it a little bit, especially given this turret right here. Um, gotta get this mast worked on more, gotta get this mast worked on more, gotta get these funnels fully constructed, and, uh, you know, billowing smoke. We gotta get anti-aircraft guns, the, uh, other anti-aircraft guns on the ship. And, uh, we gotta put in some supports about here. We'll probably have to put in some supports over here, possibly some over here. After that's done, I think she'll be done. Oh yeah, and boats. She needs, uh, this would be like a ship's boat area. So she she's gonna need those too. Um. But yeah, that's perfectly doable within a single live stream here. Okay, I'm just, yeah, I'll do this, and then I'll do this. Okay, so now those are supported. Thankfully, this shouldn't be that hard of a ship to, or that difficult of a ship to uh, complete. Actually, I'm gonna put that over here instead, because it does allow me. Yeah, this crane looks a little difficult to access at the moment, so I might do that. And I think that's gonna look a little bit better there. Okay, so in terms of funnels, I think I need to get a little taller. Also, I still want to, like, just invite someone to chat with, and I'm not sure if anyone is awake to, uh, to do that. Because that didn't happen last time, and I feel like it would be more fun if I did. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it's currently 6.53, 7 a.m.-ish. Yeah, about 7 a.m. And, uh... On a Thursday. So I don't know who the hell's gonna be online. Okay. So I'm gonna start doing this. So if these two ones are colored, whatever the funnel top color is, hold on, I need to spawn another ship to uh no, I think I will spawn in um probably Toronto. Because I think Toronto has all the colors I need. Alright, so which color is this? 14. Paint 14 is the top of the funnel mast. Or, funnel mast? What the hell am I saying? No, top of the funnel. Um. Hello there, Shade. I'm continuing to, uh, to build this ship. I made good prog or I made good progress last stream, so I'm I'm happy with where she is right now, but you know, she needs more. She does need more work. And this actually can be converted into uh two beam slopes. That saves me a couple parts. 
Yeah, okay, that funnel height looks a bit more reasonable. And now we just put that over here too. Um, other than the fact that uh, this got cut off, so I gotta put two more on right there. I might go back to uh, color 14. I'll do something like that so it kind of looks like the funnel exhaust is being directed back a little bit. I think that looks good. Uh, one thing I've realized I need to do is extend this mass down a block, which I hadn't done last time. I'm assuming because it's a little bit more difficult than I imagined, right? Okay, so what I can do is I can get rid of those two pieces. Take that, put that there, and then just grab this. And now that mast goes all the way down to the deck and looks a lot better in doing so. Uh, okay, so I do have images pulled up on my other monitor, as well as, you know, the Sketchfab models of a Dido in Atlanta. I should probably be looking at Atlanta, because these masts are a little bit more similar to that ship. But they're technically based off, or more off of a Juno. Um. Okay, let me quickly go to, uh, Juno. And, uh, let me get a good look at those masts again. Okay. Okay, I see, I see. Um, so the first thing I need to do is I need to support this. Uh, add new decoration. Uh, so I want a, uh, downslope, alloy downslope. Should be here. So I'll grab all four mes meshes. Um, I'll stick to the four. We want color five. Uh, that. Okay, that's how we do it. So, assume I want this probably down at like maybe point two. Uh, then I want to yaw it out probably a bit this way. Um, if I if I go look at my uh, pictures of uh, USS Juno again, um, oh I see how it's supported there. It's not actually supported how, like how I'm supporting it. Um, kind of is, but kind of isn't. So probably, there's another thing I can do, which I probably will do, um, thinking about it now. Because I am seeing how that's supported. I mean, first of all, the plates here look really thin. So that's the first issue I'm having. So maybe what I should do is, uh, this. Get thicker plates. Um... And now I'm going to get rid of that and just change it to a mimic. So alloy plate would normally align like so. Uh, that means I want to get my mimic alloy there. Uh, get an alloy plate. And then do that. Now I can just prefab this. That one's another one. Um, so I can just do that too. All right, prefab mode. So that's thicker now. Nice and thick. And then we have these two side pieces, which I uh, need to replace. Okay, so apparently I just can delete this and place it down. And uh, I think I need the alloy plate triangle left here. I'll grab them both, just in case I need them later. And then you need to be the triangle art. Okay, that's thicker now. That helps. 
visually having that be a lot thicker helps, and I probably will want to use those pieces in the future. Um, so I'm going to switch this to a 3 meter down slope. I will move it out a little bit. I think that's yeah, forward and left a little bit. And then I'm going to reduce the yaw. I'm going to actually reduce the up-down scaling, too. So I'll do this. And I'm... Okay, I'm going to go in... I'm, size like that. I'm going to reduce this to about 1.1. 1. 1. And yaw can increase a little bit. Um, try 12 degrees. There we go. Add new decoration. Copy that. Paste it there. Uh, sw swap in a negative yaw. Swap in a negative left-right position. Okay. I'm going to go down a block here. And actually, you know what? Delete decoration. I'm gonna go down two blocks here. Uh, pole. I need an alloy pole. We'll get a four meter alloy pole. Color five. So for this, I'm gonna do. Let's try point one. Point one. Point one, and reset that guy. Let's make it a little thicker. All right. Move it out. Okay. So I'm going to want to pitch this up like this, probably. Uh, down slightly. And then... I want a little bit of yaw. Um, not quite that much. It at 50. Um, 8 degrees. Then I can move it uh, left, right a little bit more. Up, down, or down a little bit more. Uh, pitch, go down to 45. Increase the scaling a little bit. Uh, increase that to maybe 42 degrees, I'm thinking. And, uh, increase that. Okay, that doesn't align as well as I was hoping it would. Alright, so then... be 7 degrees of yaw. I'll try 5. Let's do... 4.5. That aligns. So then we take this. Yeah, okay, yeah, this this is how they did it. Oh, hello! Even go 13 Welcome to the Nameless Follower Group thingy, and thanks for the follow. Um, can I apply this with Mirror? What happens if I do that? Um... Hold on. Okay, apply with mirror. There we go, now it's swapped sides, so now I just do paste. Hold on. Copy that. Apply with mirror. Paste. Oh, hey! Nice! Welcome, um... Okay, so it got rid of it for some reason. That's odd. So I can't do a mirror without a copy. Interesting. Okay. So that's now supported. Kinda. The question is, does that work? Because I'm looking at a drawing of Juno, and it is... Juno support system is pretty similar to this in terms of uh, supporting this sort of piece. 
looks almost a little too steep here. Because it doesn't spread out enough. Because of how I have this laid out. I'm going to do something odd. Um... doing this. Although, that's not going to work with my fencing method. Um, do we need to fence this in, though? I probably don't. So, I don't care. So then I'm going to go to this piece and increase these guys' yaw. That works. Um, okay, so now that guy's yaw has increased. I'm going to increase the pitch maybe to 43. Let's try this. Okay, that works. And then just slightly reduce the scaling. Yeah, that ma yeah that that gets the corner, so that that fixes it. So then I can take this, copy it, paste it here, do a reverse, do a reverse, and it should be aligned. Yeah, okay, that looks better. That looks better than what I had before. Trying to arrange with one. Yeah, thanks. It's this. I am liking this ship so far. Oh, it is uh, coming along. They do stick out slightly, but at a distance... Who's gonna know? Who's gonna notice from here? In terms of the sticking out slightly, you have to zoom in close. Look at how close you have to zoom in before that actually becomes, you know, remotely noticeable. Yeah, you have to get pretty close. And I, I'm okay with that. I'm content with, uh... I'm content with where they are now. It's it's a good enough scenario. Now, these guys, um, I might give them a little bit more yaw. Just because I can. And then I need a couple uh, on the back side, as well as probably a little bit more supports, but I might need to do something else here too with an additional mast. So, uh, I'm going to copy that, add new decoration, I'm going to paste that in. Go all the way back there, uh, switch you over to maybe a one meter. This guy, yeah, okay. Move you back. Um, I'll throw you out a little bit. Perfections add charm to it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Copy that. Paste it in. Negative, negative, and we're good. I just gotta get a little... Just gotta get some extra supports in. Actually, you know what one thought is? I'm gonna bring these up and I'm gonna decrease the pitch down. I'm going to decrease the pitch to 35 degrees and uh, shrink them accordingly. So up down position will go up to about here. I think the yaw is... Um, hold on. Does that go through it? It does, okay. So now here I can just go into this and shrink it down. And I think that actually does look a little better. So copy that, paste it, re reverse, and reverse, and we're good. 
Um, which means now that's actually linking up to the block I wanted it to link up to. I, yeah, this looks better. Um, so, add new decoration, copy that, paste it here. Um, I'm going to switch it to a 3 meter alloy pole. Uh, we're going to do turn around like that. We're going to going to do that. Uh, pitch is going to go up to uh, I'm going to start it at 50 degrees. Um, eh, we'll go 60. Let's see 60. 60 works a little better. Um, I'm going to reduce yaw. Oh, let's do 100. Let's do that. Let's do that 170. Okay, that's going to about the same location. Uh, I think that's fine. Copy that. Add new decoration. Paste. And negative, negative. Okay, yeah, that's supporting the back side too. That's good. We'll have to add some uh, beam stet or beam stretching out to the side from that. <sighs> I think I'm going to increase this uh, top section here and make it thicker. So I'm just going to get rid of all that. So I'm going to start by getting rid of that. Come on. Okay, so we have our pieces down there. Put mirror mode back on. Put that back in, and then grab these guys. Alright, so now we have the thicker platform, which I like. Having the thicker platform is nice. And uh, now I can actually start adding some stuff to it. So, I'm actually going to take this piece, turn it around, turn off mirror mode, put it there, turn mirror mode back on. Okay, so... Okay, so let's take these guys, ship them... Shift them forward each initially, uh, maybe to about 1.2. I'll do one. I'll just do one. Uh, shift them back slightly. 0. 0.8 probably is about right where I want to be. Oh, they need more yaw. Alright. This guy should probably be at 45. I'll just modify this one. And then copy it over. 45. Um, so, left, right, and up, down should be this. Uh, not left, right. Uh, oh, these shouldn't be the same. This needs to be that plus uh, 3, I believe. Because of the center point of the pillar. Like right there. That's that's the perfect spot for that. Take this. Take this guy. Copy it. Paste him here. Do a negative. Do a negative. Alright, so now we have these two guys. So I'll modify this guy first and then modify the other one. So, forward-backward positioning, I will adjust that. Actually, I'll do a reset on the forward-backward positioning. So I probably want a, maybe a 2 meter down slope instead, slightly scaled back. I'll give it, I'll give it 150 degrees of yaw. Um, bring that to 0.8 then. Uh, I do a point five. That's too short. I mean, that would be a one meter. So what about like a point six seven ish? Maybe maybe point seven. Um, point 
2.35, that works. That appears to work. So then take this guy, copy him, paste him here, do a negative, do a negative. And yeah, look at that. that that's looking pretty good. So I want to add a second uh, pillar to this. So I'm going to start by... Okay, actually... I was hoping to get away with something, but I can't. Um, let's try point four. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to see how far forward I can move it. Let's reset that to zero. That's fine. That's not fine. That clip, no, that doesn't clip. So we can get by with point two. Okay. So now we have this additional pole kind of going through it. Uh, it is technically over the funnel a little bit, but it's not over the smoke producing part of the funnel, so I think that's okay. I think I can get away with this. Can I? I might use the thinner platforms here at the base of this and then do something like maybe this around here. Kind of uh, show the bottom of it. Uh, it probably needs some, probably needs to be locked to here properly. Wood. Uh, okay. So if I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna get a, uh, lightweight alloy block. And just do something. Uh, I'll move it up, down, or up, do the up, down scaling at that, and then up, down positioning probably about there. So that should be supported now. And I... Hmm. I might do something a little bit thinner at the top here too. Maybe get rid of this piece. Oh no, why did I do that? Um. like a little almost radio antenna sort of thing here. I'm debating on whether this radar should be the uh, highest point or not. Like this platform. I think it probably should be the highest point. On uh which uh, people can access. So I'll put a fence up there. Um, I won't have a fence here. Yeah, that should work. Unless I, like, elevate this radar. Which I can do. I could always do that, you know. I could, I could always place a lightweight alloy pole right here and then put the radar above that. And then add a fence here. If I do that, that's going to be an annoying block to uh, put a fence on, though. But I can, I can probably manage. Well, let's try it. So that is my illustrious radar, right? Uh, 
Independence, I think. Radar End, I think, is the one I need here. I think it needs face this way, but um, yeah, okay. Now that's a little taller, still works. That that'll still work fine. I'll just have to uh, put some stuff around it. Mast is now looking, you know, even better than it was. I'll I'll gladly take that. And the other thing we need is we need uh, stuff kind of going out to the sides of the mast because that's how stuff works on uh, boats. Could also add like another platform down here, maybe. Or turn this into one. That kind of has the support going through it though, so that would be great. Probably want one like down here. At that point you might start interfering with that director. So I probably won't do that. Okay, so the idea here is I'm going to take one of these guys, move them out to the side, you got to add some escape boats. Yes, I will. Um, that is on the itinerary. Itinerary. Okay, we're going to do this. Although this needs to be higher up than the basket, so... Okay, you know what? I'm going to increase the height of this. 1.8, and then... Five, so then I can move you up a little bit. Oh, wrong one. Reset. Left, right should be a little higher. And then those can be copied and pasted outwards. Whereas here, I can add another uh, lightweight alloy block. Um, move it forward to about there. Move it up by point 0.2, and then scale it. I'm going to reduce these from point 0.3 to uh, point 0.25, maybe. A little better. I think that's a little better. Okay, we're going to have some mirroring issues here. So I'm not going to bother with any rigging. Um, I'll get rid of the out outboard most piece. Okay, that's that's looking solid. For mast. I think the other thing I'm missing is that I need. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna copy this guy. I need something of this sort, probably about here ish. So I'm gonna add it there. I'll switch you to a two meter pole. I press space on accident, now everything's laggy, I need to press backspace to get rid of the space. There's been a lot more stuff, come on. Come on. There we go. So the backspace didn't work. Unfortunately, um, but that did resolve it. Okay. Alright, so I need the pitch to be probably about maybe 70. Up, down, 
position should be a little higher. Um, I'll try 75 on the pitch, actually. Eh, 80, 80, 80 degrees. Um, should be further back. Out there, and now we can actually put in... Oh, hold on, you, should, you need to be further left, right, about there-ish. Now we can actually put on some, uh, yaw. I'll do 75 here. Let's try 40 degrees. Ah, uh, 38, maybe. Okay, that works. So then add new decoration, copy, paste, and uh, do a quick uh, flip and flip. Okay, so now that's supported well too. We don't have an exact copy, but that should be well supported enough to work. Still. I think it is. I think we're good. Uh, we'll have to add more supports to this structure. So we'll have to work on that aft mast here um, relatively soon as well. It will probably need a radar on top of it. Um, I might go. I might go with just a copy of this guy though. Even though, you know, getting other radar on there would be really nice. Okay, uh, let's actually work on this superstructure back here. So the issue with this right now is it's a little too close to here. I might not like this, actually. Another thought is I can do this. And then just have that top layer stick out a little bit more. But that might not be good. Very close to the aft gun. Let you know what let's let's test the rotation of the aft gun. That would be back here. So how good of an angle does it get? It's still respectable. About there. I think that would, yeah, that would be realistic in combat situation. So I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to stretch it out a little bit more this way, because I can. So, um, I'll do this, I'll do that. I will actually bring it up back here. But then over here, I'm going to do this to it. So that hopefully should allow the float plane catapult to operate past it. Okay, so that's a very basic look at what that section of superstructure is going to look like. Um, I'm considering moving the fire control back a block rather than having it be there. Or have, moving it back two blocks. I will probably do that, actually. Just so I can get a little bit more detail at a uh, part I like. Alright, so then the fire control, I'm ta thinking about moving here. Should work. Alright, so then this is... Where is it? Is a director. I think I called it director... Uh, what is the name? Coquitlam. Yes, director Coquitlam. Put Director Coquitlam right there. So then all we have to do is we do have to put a bit of a platform around here, but thankfully that misses the uh, end of the float plane catapult. So the end of the float plane catapult can operate through that platform. Just under that. Yeah, just under that. And the float plane catapult can't launch, you know, this way anyways. So, you know, why not? Why not do this? 
it doesn't really hinder all that much in terms of operations and get me some, gets me some space back. It's me a little bit more complicated of an aft superstructure here. I'm just going to do this. Okay. That's decent shape. And then we probably want another layer about here-ish. You know what? Why not do this? Why not do that? Although, actually, how about we remove that piece right there? Eh. Here's my thought. I like plate. Apply with mirror. Put that on. Give me the plate there instead, and do this. That looks a little nicer now. Oh, yeah, there's that other platform I wanted to build. One which kind of goes above the torpedo tubes, because I think that would be fun. Fun to, fun to have a platform like that in. I don't think there's anything else. Like, I could build an additional, you know, upper bridge structure, but I think, I think the bridge structure right now on this cruiser... Uh, Coquitlam is good. I forget if Coquitlam has an eventful career or not in the in the a war war the uh, AARs for. Um, I know her sister ship did, but she sank before the uh, war the AAR is taking place in. Unfortunately. Um, okay, so I'm probably gonna have to have ladder up here. Uh, but, for this section, I can have a staircase. It's just which block do I want to remove. Although, if I have a staircase, um, it does run into the issue of, like, say, if I put it here, suddenly I need that. Well, that's kind of doable. Okay, so we could do a staircase like here-ish, probably. Actually, here might be a good location. And then what I could do is I could uh, expand this outwards. Actually, you know, do this. Okay, yeah, that works better. So now we have that staircase up, and then I can go in and put in a nice little ladder, since this block's removed. I would say right here, but I... Th then you have an issue where that that's the block you remove. So now that causes some problems, unfortunately. So I think the, lat the ladder would have to start maybe here-ish. Which means that I need an alloy plate set up like this. That works. I think I kind of want to do here is uh oh where is it oblique panels like this. Oh, there are ways to do things. What does that look like? I mean, that looks cool. Um, actually, I think there are some ships built with stuff like that. Uh, if I look at, say, a Dito class, I think a Dito class does actually have something kind of like this on the bridge. 
bridge structure. No, that's a video. Why did I click on a video? It's a Drakinifel video, but, um, this is a good video, but not, not what I was looking for. I want an image. Dido does have something like this. Um, I, I would... That does look like a kind of cool shape, but I want it to stretch outward and not inward like this, which creates some problems. I need an inverse, the inverse of the oblique panel. So I guess, how do I figure out how I want to do this? If I, if I did want to do that. So then I could do this, I would have to slope it forward. Now, let's say I have it like this, and slope it back. No, that wouldn't work. So I'd have to do this, slope it forward, and then put something across the top, and that creates some issues. But let's try it. Let's try it anyways. I want a Mimic. Decoration. Mimic alloy. Alright, so, you need to be... I need an applique. Uh, applique slope one. Uh, pitch. Okay, triangle. Okay, no, no, I need the calculations. So two and one. Um, so I think I need ninety minus twenty six point five six. Okay, so you know what? Let's copy this and let's just paste that there. See what angle we get. Delete this. Place our new mimic here. And okay, I think that's at the right angle now. Yes, that's at the right angle. So up, down, positioning. Should probably go there. Probably go here. I think I'm going to leave that at about the same height it's at. Maybe, maybe a slight. negative point five. Okay, so then I'm gonna take that and we're gonna have three of them and then I'm gonna place a single mimic on top. Now, what mimic this will be is a good question. Cause I have, I have some choices. I'll just go with a uh, lightweight alloy block, reset that to zero, um, left right scaling three, up, down, positioning, uh, move it out a little bit. Technically, those other blocks probably need to be moved back slightly. Hold on. Um, so what happens if I do 2-5? Uh, 2-5 looks okay. Okay. So then... So is it forward, backward, over there? I'll do 0.25. Uh, take that scaling down a little bit more. Do 3.1 there, so it stretches a little over the side and move it out a little bit more. That kind of works. All right, that works. And then just do this. Or do this. And maybe I can put another piece in there. I probably won't. Okay. Yeah, that's looking decent. It'll need to have some additional support structures on it, but um, that has given some shape to that aft superstructure, which is good. That's what I want. Um, I am perfectly okay with storing the float plane on the catapult, since uh, it's 
would only have one float plane, you could probably maintain it on the catapult itself, even though the catapult is that high off the ship. Um, if I do that, though, I probably want some form of uh, platform for servicing it around maybe here-ish backside of the catapult. So I will put that in, but it's going to be using the thicker, uh, thicker plates from up here, over here. Um, hello there. Hold on. Does this thick plate have a? Uh, it does. Damn it. Uh, this thick plate doesn't. Yeah, I'll take this thick plate then. Okay. So for this, um. So we could put it here, we could put it here. Still gives, yeah, it's still like technically a half deck, so. I guess technically this thick plate's going all the way back over here, so. Um... Although, I might, I might raise it up a level. So if the thick plate's here, that means you can't really get under the catapult at this thick plate, but you can still service it. Um, I mean, that's kind of what this layer of deck is for, so you can service the catapult. And the airplane. Better. I'll have to support that, but... I mean, that looks like a decent position for being able to uh, service that stuff. I'll have to put a uh, some some form of structure underneath it, but I want to build the uh, structure over the torpedo tubes first. Uh, actually, I'm going to be right back real quickly. I want to get something.
Alright, hopefully I should be able to keep going a little longer now. Um... I'm going to hang out in uh, the depth realism, and if anyone wants to join me, they can. The other thought would be joining my own Discord server and seeing who's there, but um, I'm not sure anyone will be. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's possible. Nobody opts, nobody opts in here soon enough, uh, I'll probably do that. Okay, so we're back building. We, uh, gotta... Gotta get over this. So how this is gonna work is we're gonna need a staircase. Probably about here. I might put one here, actually. Um... Well, the problem is this platform is a little too high up, so... Let's actually do this. Um, I'll go over to that. And I'll actually probably use the thicker pieces here in just a moment. And do this. No, that's not the piece I wanted to grab. I wanted to grab this piece. So we do this, so now we have a uh, platform up here we can access. <clears throat> Although this platform is in fact going to be made out of this. Okay. I'm actually going to build it out to the side of the torpedo tubes a bit. So then I'll put some structure above that. Um, I gotta load the torpedo tube somehow, which could be annoying without this, so I will kind of close it in probably over here-ish, which means that this will need, I'll need to do some interesting supports on this, if I want it to go this far over the tubes then. So, you know what, we're not going that far over the tubes now. We're going this far over the tubes, because this is more easily supportable. Yeah, okay, I can still reload the tubes at this angle. Yeah, probably can't go another block out there. Um, okay, so the, right here, we need to step up over there. And then right here, I need to get rid of that block, because we need... Uh, up here, up here, this guy right here. Okay, so this will allow us to fully get over the torpedo tube. What happens if I fail? Oh, that works, cool. Um, and then we can still load the torpedo tubes in here. So I just gotta have a uh, triangle piece here. One of these good old triangle lefts, I'll say. Uh, mirror data transfer, select mirror mesh. Take one of these guys and put it here. So you can, yeah, you can still get up there. And I think you should be able to get up there no matter what the uh, rotation of the float plane catapult is, even if you have to kind of run over to the other side to uh, get up there. 
in some circumstances. Now we can take this, get a height of two, and put this here. So now you can get up there from that angle too. Okay, so you get kind of a half block step up here. Yeah, the one step over there. Should probably save the vehicle. Make sure to do uh, regular saves. Okay, so now that I have that roughly worked out, let's actually get the anti-aircraft guns on. So, if I'm looking at my uh, original design. Our Aquaquitlam would have 17 medium anti-aircraft guns and 4 light anti-aircraft guns. So that does mean that I am going to have to put an anti-aircraft gun on the center line, a medium anti-aircraft gun. Um, Lanta does have a set on the center line, a stern, so does Dito. So it is justifiable for me to do this. So I can put one astern. And I will put one astern. So, more simple weapons mod is what I need. Yeah, more simple weapons. And, uh... Where is it? So I want the 40mm single. Spofer is probably facing backwards like that. Alright, so that's one of our Bofors guns. So, okay, so now we need 4 light and uh, 16 medium. So I can just go to normal simple weapons, get the uh, twin bofers. Probably best to have like a twin bofers maybe here-ish. I look at like an Atlanta or Dito. What do they, where do they put their anti-aircraft guns? Mm, other than the ones astern, uh, Dito has some amidships. It has some a little bit more forward. It's like I don't actually have as many as I was expecting them to. Wow. Um. So I think the easiest place to put uh, anti-aircraft guns would be, you know, around here. It's probably better to have them elevated rather than on the deck. So I will try to do that. I think this set. Probably be elevated here ish. Like maybe there. I might actually do. I might do one there. And another one there. Okay, so that is 2468 of the medium anti aircraft guns. Speed tubes would be reloaded there. So I probably want another set. Probably here-ish is a good spot. And then I can have one set uh, located here. Or located here. Well, if I locate them, maybe here. That might be a better spot. And then what I can do is I can take this guy and move him back a bit. Actually. Take this. Actually, no. put that back in. Give me another one right there. And that gives me just slightly better angles. Okay, so then that is our whole anti-aircraft component. That's all of the anti-aircraft guns we need. Uh, well, for our uh, medium AA. For our light AA, we need four. So, options for that. If I go into simple weapons, um, I could just put down one of these guys somewhere. One of these guys on the center line at some point on the ship. I don't know where specifically that would go. Oh, Atlanta does have a center line. A gun. I can't fit one in because I have the float plane launcher. So, um, <coughs> I would need to go to, uh, where is it? More simple weapons down here. Light AA. So we could do either two of these, or we could do like four of these guys somewhere. Winter does have a couple located astern, seems like. Seems like I should probably get a couple, you know, somewhere more midships on her. 
Maybe like Kirish would be good. That would be the medium AA complement. Or not medium AA, light AA complement right there. No, I mean, that's a decent spot to use, I think. Yeah, because it's not really in the way of anything. So, eh, good enough. I, th I think we got that sorted. Got, got all their locations sorted out. So now I need to go up here, grab this block, and uh, create platforms for them. And then we're going to need uh, poles below them. Definitely. I actually do have some designs on some other ships. I don't think uh, that has them. But I know some other ships designed does, or designed zoo. I don't think Toronto has them, though, so... I will have to grab some parts from another, uh, or some components from another ship. But yeah, she's starting to look good. I will say, it's starting to look like a pretty good cruiser. Okay, so I'm trying to think, which which ships do I know have these parts on them? It would be more the recent ones I built, not the older ones. Um, why do I have two mail messages? You can't see those on the screen. Good. Is that just... Oh, new reply to a comment on YouTube. Stupid, stupid comment. Uh, Cold Lake wouldn't have them... Oh, St. John and Ottawa definitely have them. So, uh, I'll spawn in St. John. St. John's going to be a little less laggy. I mean, Coquitlam's so much smaller than St. John. Look at the size difference between these two ships. Toronto, yeah, Toronto, Coquitlam's smaller than Toronto, too. Yeah, pretty significant size difference between the two. How deep, how deep is St. John? I think that might be like six, seven meters, and Coquitlam's only, you know, six. Great, I, do, I did six on Coquitlam. Actually, they look to be about, about, have about the same amount of draft. Might be closer than I think. Just tonnage increases um, a little bit faster than I think. Yeah, because it, it doesn't look that much bigger, but this ship is supposed to be twice as heavy. So. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yes, here's the, here's the pieces I wanted to grab. Height, height, width. No, not width. Length. Grab it. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Oh, I don't have a corner piece in. Oh no, I do. Hold on, gotta gotta fix St. John real quickly. I just realized this piece did not successfully mirror. Okay, so now that's fixed. Um, okay, so I can just grab this. And uh, that can go... I can just steal this, place it on Coquitlam, and uh, figure out everything I need to do with it. So, that... Let's start by placing it there. You know what, that's the... Okay, so this here is the end section, so I need that there. But I don't want actually want that there. Or this here. These guys here. These guys up here. Now, the other thing I'm going to need to do... That mirror, well, almost. Some of this I'm going to have to fix. Uh... Let's take these guys, do up-down scaling, and then up-down positioning. 
down scaling, up down position. Mirror, um, mirror, uh, control C. Actually, no, I'm just gonna copy that and, uh, paste it a bunch of times. So, paste, 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 paste. So that's now consistent. So those should all work well enough, I do believe, right? So then I can just take this guy, do that, do that. Then take this guy and do this and this. We have a little half block we gotta work out. Okay, so I wanna do a uh, reset there. Actually, I want to bring that down to 0.5. Um, and I want to do that. Okay. So there we go. We have that platform a little bit more built out. Uh, what I will need to do is I will need to put a set of pillars in here. Or just below the guns, about here-ish, right? Yeah. So I can do... Okay. So I need a Mimic Alloy here. Um, alloy pull 2 meters. Let's do this. Alright, so now those guns have that alloy pull. I will have to do more support work around the rest of it, but that should be most of the structure they need. Um, the vast majority of it. I, don't get me wrong, they will need a little more, not too much more. Um, okay, so now I can take this piece, put it here, Put it here, but I'm gonna bring it down to about 0.7. This and this, no. What's that? I'll bring it down to 0.5 actually. Take that, put it there. Grab this guy. That centered. Not centered, that's probably why it looks a little wonky. Is it not centered? Oh my god, the rotation isn't centered. Oh, that's the most annoying thing I've noticed in From the Depths today. Oh no. I'm I'm post I'm posting that this isn't centered in the uh in depth realism discord cuz I'm not sure anyone there's noticed Okay, so what I want to try here is, if I, if I rotate this, no, that doesn't move. 
Ah, I was hoping to get that to work. I'm not sure how many people have noticed that. that that's an issue. I bet, I bet people have. I'm probably like the last one to actually spot it or something. They're, they're, I'm gonna post it. I've just posted that there, and they're all gonna be like, "We know." I didn't know until now. So, um, oh, hold on. These didn't transfer. These did not align successfully. Mere data transfer. Mere data transfer. And. I don't like it when mimics do that. It's called having a left-right offset, and it can cause issues. Alright, so now I have to fix all these on all of them. So, mirror, mirror. Okay, those are both mirrored now. Mirror this. And mirror this. You know what? This might be a piece where I have to go in, move it, place it upside down. Yep. There we go. That's fixed now. I will have to put a set of those around for these guys here too, and then for that set back there. I have this guy sitting over there. Actually, I need to grab two more pieces from this just to make sure everything works out, and that's this guy to go right here, and then another one to go right here. Actually, I might do... I might just do this, copy it over. Paste it right here. Get rid of that piece. Get rid of this piece. Mirror that. Mirror this. Mirror that. Mirror that. Send that over. Send that over. And okay. Now, um, I can do that, and now I need to grab the other two pieces. Which here are actually not aligned as I expect them to be, so, eh. Grab this guy, move him over here. Grab this guy, move him over here. And now that's good. So now all of our, uh... Okay, all of our secondary... Not secondary all of our anti-aircraft batteries, other than these middle ones here, are in place. So these guys are thick guys, right? Yes, yes they are. Alright, so... Grab this. Doop, doop, doop. That was not what I was expecting. Grab this. Doop. 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 I think 
this way. And, uh, okay, put that there. Okay, there's enough room to access those guns. Okay, so then I need to grab the, uh, these pieces. So, there. There. Then here. And then here. And that should be everything in place. Other than, you know, the two additional smaller side pieces I need. And it does give that a little bit more volume so that those guns are a little bit more operable. could also separate them out a little bit more, um, so they're not so tightly clumped together. That might be smart. Uh, that would actually be very smart. So, um, yeah, we're going to separate these out by another block. Okay, so length, like, okay, height, length, width. Again, I think I need to grab this, get rid of you. Get rid of this. Now, paste that right there. Grab this and just copy over the pieces, or mirror over the pieces I need to. And I think that's good. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. And yeah, it does get them a little bit more separated. And I think that looks a little bit better. I mean, I have enough room on this ship that I'm not really concerned about room. Oh. Okay, so we've encountered a small issue. Here's how we solve it. There, problem solved. Okay, so we want to get to this top platform here. I think a good idea would be to allow some traversal over here. Probably. If we do this, though, then we need that to be like that. However, we need a way to get up there, too. And now we're starting to uh, run out of room. So, what I might do is I might get rid of that piece. Um, instead of using this guy, I'll use this guy down here. That. Which way? That works well enough. Put in a one of those there. And then do that. And then that gets us up there relatively easy. Uh, stretch again, and then let's place some more ladders to get up to the various platforms. So getting up to here would be nice. You probably want a couple there. Probably good to have a set of ladders there too. If you do have one there, I'm probably going to put one here as well. Maybe one step behind. And then I think we're going to need some up here. This is where stuff's going to get a little bit more annoying just due to uh, how this is shaped. So I'll do a set here. Bottom one shouldn't place. Yeah, it should work. Then we can do this and this. Actually, I can just... No, I'll probably do fences for those. And then I'll do another set, maybe about here-ish. That, yeah, that'll still work well enough. Okay, so that gets us ladders everywhere, right? Can we, like, I think we can climb 
realistically climb to every portion of the ship now, other than like on the turrets, because I haven't detailed them that excessively. Okay, so that's a lot of good progress on uh, Coquitlam. Now, I think one thing I want to do is... I want to turn parts of this into a, uh, some form of shack. Like a little, little thing on the... Okay, we can't have it, can't have it be back there. Um... Okay, that's created a problem. Um... Alright, uh... I'll do 1.5. Uh... 2.5. Other way. Here, the data transfer. Change decoration. Change decoration. Then place that down. Now they're fixed. That's actually probably a little easier. Okay, put another door right about there. Okay, and this should work, right? Yeah, this should work. Having another uh, nice little building right here, and I can fit in an additional little door in there. Um, cause this is this does wind up shaped a little bit awkwardly. So what I'm going to do to make it shaped less awkwardly is I'm going to move that there, get rid of you, get rid of you, and uh, take you and put you here. Okay, yeah, now that works a little bit better. I might do alloy plates like here, here, and uh, you know I do decoration alloy plate color five. Uh, do that. Apply with mirror. Add new decoration. Copy this. Paste it here, and then is that yaw that. And apply that with mirror. Then do that. A new decoration, alloy plate, color 5, yeah, I want pitch, apply with mirror, and then just copy that, paste it there. Okay, now that section's built out. Although, let's do that. It's a little bit complicated of a shape, but that looks a little bit better. We will need a lot of support structure here. Are these all plates? Those are all plates, and then we have those over there. I thought I was build. I didn't think I was building with, you know, the normal plates here. I thought I was building with the other things, so... Oh, because I did a fill and had plates last on the... I understand. I understand what I did. Why that happened the way it did. Alright, now we have a nice little platform right there. And it's properly sorted now. I will have to put some uh, beams going across to keep it supported. Uh, but yeah, ship's definitely improving. She's definitely taking shape more and more. Especially with that uh, forward mast on. I might go and work on the aft mast right now, is what I'm strongly considering doing. Other thought is getting in more searchlight platforms in various spots. Since we have so much room, I might as well. well. One consideration would be right here, and I think I can get away with this. Because there would still be enough room to access the uh, staircase by going around the other way. Um... And I think we... Mm, I might actually want to do this. Hold on.
is actually some easy uh, structure work I can do. Then I'd want to have a ladder probably back here. Yeah, that'll work. So then we can put a ladder there. We can do a plate here. Plate there. Plate there. Sloped plate here. Sloped plate there. Okay, yeah, that looks kind of nice. Save it. Um, yeah, I mean, her general shaping is turning out very good, and I don't... I, th I think in terms of required details, she has everything she needs on her right now. She's got the directors, she has her main guns, um, she has the radar, probably want a radar astern. She's got the torpedo tubes, um, she has the anti-aircraft directors. Right there. Oh, you can't see it because my mouse is on the screen. These two. Yeah, main guns, all the AA guns, uh, anti-aircraft directors, radar, fire control systems, float plane catapult with, you know, storage for one float plane. Yeah, I think I've gotten, like, all the major functional details on her. Game functional details other than having an aft radar set. And she's looking good. I'm happy. I'm once again happy with how one of my ships is turning out. I feel like I'm getting better at this, like, every time I build one. Alright, uh... Mirror mesh will work with these. And her top down. I mean, if you can see the top down, which I'm building off of on the top of the screen, her top down's pretty similar. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's uh pretty similar. I could use more searchlight platforms back here. Uh need to do that real quickly. Not really any amidships. It's not a good location to really get them amidships. Honestly. Um, where were they on, like, Dido and Atlanta? We did have some down that low. You could put them on pillars. I could put them on a pillar at various locations. So, I mean, we could always have one, like, here. Although that might be a good location for, like, ship's boats. Although th this is also a good location for ship's boats. That being said, this can needs to be a torpedo reload location. Or, you know, reloading the torpedo. So it might do a set of boats here. Um, could do a set of searchlights here. Our, I mean, she has the two forward. I think I need a set aft. Um, the closest location would probably be here-ish. Probably the furthest uh, back and going. Where are they at Atlanta? Okay, Atlanta, you got some by that funnel. By that funnel. Atlanta has a couple on each of her funnels. So I can't really get these on the aft funnel, I don't think. I could get these over here. I could put I could probably put a searchlight like right here if I need to. I think I will. Um that might actually be a problem on the previous one. I'll have to fix that. Yeah, that'll work. Good enough of a searchlight location. Yeah, this one has uh, unnecessary ones. Delete all. 
and then just delete all. There. Okay, there. That's fixed. So she'll have uh, six searchlights. Good enough. She's a, a little larger than like a Theodo or an Atlanta. She's still an AA cruiser, but she's a little bit more of a part of a fleet than those two. Um, I, I think. Her armor, her in-game armor is slightly heavier for light cruiser, 2.5 inches, when normally you get like 2 inch light cruisers. Oh, you can get up to like 3, I think. They might, they might usually classify it as a CA, actually thinking about it now. Maybe there's just like a later thing where you can increase the armor. Um, you know, she'd definitely be more capable of serving as a fleet cruiser compared to uh, the other fleet cruisers in, like, fleet light cruisers in game versus, you know, the historical Dito in Atlanta. Because this ship does have a little bit more of a proper armor scheme and, uh, you know, a float plane. Although I, I did fit the float plane on, I do believe. And torpedoes. Although those did too. Um. No, Atlanta did. Dito, Dito did too. Okay, cool. Um. Okay, how, what do I want to do? I want to build the aft mast out. So if I'm looking at the aft mast of these ships, looking at Dito, looking at Atlanta, I know it doesn't have too much on hers, and I uh, should probably also check out. Well, one thing I might do with this crane, I have an idea with this crane. Go to the, go to the crane. Edit that. Remove that. Go back to the boat. This is something I saw in Atlanta, so this is historical precedence. Uh, what I'm about to do, if I can find the piece, there's a piece. I'm going to have a platform up here. Attaching around the crane. <laughs> Um, probably just gonna have to imagine a ladder up to it. I mean, you would historically get a ladder up to it, it's just being an odd section. Could you, though? Could you get a ladder going up here? Probably go up here-ish. Then you have the AA directors go past. Yeah. I'll go back to what I had. Dito doesn't really have proper cranes on her, I don't think, so that doesn't help. Ah, damn it. Alright. Yeah, so aft mast. I, I want to also look at that picture of uh, Juno. Um, as well for inspiration, because this is more like a 1950s design. And Juno's a little later. When were the... How long did the Juno class serve for? Those are kind of like the Atlanta successors. Uh, they would have been in commission to uh, 55. So I could use these more as a uh, inspiration. The Atlanta class only served until uh, 1949. So he's got a little more use from them. Got a little more use. It's like they sold them in the, one in 1961, 1965, and then one in 1972 was when they got scrapped, the Juno class. Okay, so we'd want to put... So I would want to radar back here. Um, I'm probably going to want a similar top mast section to this. Maybe at the same level. Yeah, let's do it at the same level. That'd be here. Yes, that would be. I got that location exactly right. Oh, 
Okay, so in this case, um, so I do still want this. Actually, more specifically, I want, what is it? This section of pieces here, right net, right here. At about the same level. Pro yeah, I probably want that there. Although what it might do, might put that there. Okay, yeah, now they're going straight through the center of that, and then I can have the uh, second bit I need up top. Actually, I'm going to lower this down by a block up here. There. Okay, yep, cool. That's in the right location now. And if I look at the picture of Juno again, we'll have to support this mast, uh, probably. Um, yeah, I will. Uh, okay, so but I'll, support her, I'll support it higher up. Okay, so I need radar. Uh, I think this is radar independence, right? Oh, no, wait, no, no, that's the other one. No, it's not that one. We radar DSL. Yeah, okay, that's the one I was looking for. Cool. Okay, so the piece which I need to grab is here. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it about... Uh, delete that, I'll put it here. So delete this guy, and delete this guy. And the other two of those actually support pretty well. So, cool, We're, that's good. I think those are her masts done. Other than, you know, a little bit of fencing on them. Uh, on the forward one. Not really, not as much on the aft one, I don't think. I should probably get fencing there anyway. Um, yeah, so... She needs supports, she needs boats. Particularly this section here needs support still. So now I'm just trying to think what supports I'm going to grab. I should probably... So what I'm I'm... What I'm going to do is, Toronto I'm going to despawn. I don't think I need Toronto in here right now. I'm going to grab Lethbridge instead, and uh, use Lethbridge and Pincore. I'm going to grab Pincore as well. And I'm going to use parts from these ships to uh, build her out. And then once that's done, hopefully we're on the uh, decorating phase. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we have we have a good amount of supports on uh, Saint John here, which I can use. Um, you know, these guys modify these guys probably for the bridge wings. Um, she's got a lot of the tubes kind of going up. Oh, those are the 3-inch guns, because she's a mixed battery. Yeah. I remember. A lot of AA at the back. Okay, here. 
St. John's a weird ship. Good director, though. Although that's uh, Montreal's director. I might take this director and uh, I might take this detail at some point and paste it onto uh, St. John and uh, Ottawa, I believe. Is Ottawa her sister? Yeah, Ottawa's her sister. Um, we do have these supports right here on her, and we do have them on Pincor as well, and I fully intend to use those supports. Okay, just need to think for a second. This is what happens when ships get closer to done. It's like, okay, I gotta think just a little bit. Oh, what? Get ready for what I'm intending on doing next, because usually I build like one part of a ship at a time and then, you know, hop offline. Now it's just like, oh hey, I'm making a lot of progress here. Um, what am I supposed to do with all this progress? All right, support this. Um, okay, so we're gonna need tubes. We're gonna need tubes going up. Uh, for this, I'm going to get a rough idea by rotating these guys probably at about 90 degrees. Negative 90 for that one. I'll do, uh, I'm actually going to do about uh, 70 for this guy. Okay, so now I have a rough idea. I'll do 75. Nope. Uh, 65. So now I have a rough idea of the outer limits of uh, what the torpedo tubes need to rotate through. Um, I will need new torpedo tube models at some point. Definitely. I still, I still need them. Uh, but, you know, they'll be roughly the same size as these ones anyway, so... Not having anyone join me, so that's not great. I didn't look if there's like any Discord servers I'm in with anyone who would want to potentially hang out. And start to cramp. This is, this is what happens when a build starts to uh, stall, but it'll, it'll get it done. Okay, you know what? Here, I'll take a stretch break because I think I need it. And uh, come back with a vengeance and get more done.
stretch break over, I still have no idea what I'm what I'm doing or how I'll, how I'll do it. I'm gonna hang out in my own Discord server and see who joins. I'll just I'll be in gaming voice one, so that's a place you guys can access. Um, you're probably a little terrified at that. I probably should be a little terrified of that, but, uh, you know, it can work, maybe, probably not, but maybe. I Means I guess that people who are watching in stream, since I actually do have my Discord server, <laughs> Uh, that's going to be a little terrifying, but I, I need somebody to hang out with. Okay, so I need to grab pieces. I, I need to start... The thing I need to start working on is the structural supports for this segment right here. Okay. So... One thing is we could build beams going across. That's one easy, easy piece of construction put in. Uh, could line them up through here-ish, and that would probably work well. Okay. I think that's the easiest first step, is uh, put a beam in. I guess the question is, what sort of beam do I want, like a... I probably want, like, a more solid beam. Okay. Lightweight alloy block. Color 5. Left, right position. Um, that should line up with this pretty perfectly. Uh, okay. That'll probably work as an initial beam, so apply that with mirror. That does not do oh, duh, I see. So then this kinda goes across. And now we get to here, where normally this places down additional pieces, and that's not acceptable. Okay, so now we have some something easy we can do is just take this, take that, convert it to a uh, two meter beam. I give it a moment. Not beam slope. Two meter beam. Um. Do that, and apply that with mirror. And that should complete the beam. Yeah, okay, so the beam's now stretching all the way across. That's good. That's helpful. That makes it look a little bit better supported. It's not there fully yet, but we have something. And something is a lot better than nothing. And what that is, I could put, uh... I could put searchlights on top of here. Why not? And you do have to launch a plane over them, but... Actually does look like a pretty good point for, uh... A pretty good location for searchlights. Well, I might do... Something like... Okay, let's do this. Actually, no, here. I can do this. Oh, hold on, hold on. I, I know, I know what I'm doing. 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 I'm not dumb. I know what I'm doing. What? what? Um, what am I like at this hour? I don't know. I don't. I don't know what's going on. This sounds. This sounds like I'm having problems. Am I having problems, chat? Do you know? Am I? Am I going insane? Am I going insane? 
fun if I went insane, would it? No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. What am, I, what am I saying to myself? Seriously, what what am I saying to myself at this point? Okay. There you go. There's our little searchlight things in there. The rest of this will probably be fenced in pretty well. Um, although I probably need this. Just to get these aligned. And then I can just use my uh, fences on the rest of this. And getting an additional set of searchlights in is probably pretty good. Given that I'm using the smaller searchlights and not bothering with the bigger set as I probably should be. Distracted by Discord again as I'm literally just sitting around. Whenever everybody's at work, so that doesn't help me out in the slightest. Okay, I need boats. Let's let's get ship's boats on. That's an easy thing to do now. And grab one of these guys. Was oh, that the boat I want to grab, or do I want to grab? Do I have any other models? I have this model too. I think this model will fit a little better. Actually, Lethbridge uses a very similar approach. Okay, so that's the boat, this little uh, T-shaped thing. That's all the decos I need for this. Unfortunately, does it fit? Oh yeah, it fits. You can't cross from side to side anymore, but it fits. It is a boat. But like even on even on ships with boats, you can usually get around them somehow. Atlanta does have some. Yeah, it looks like you can just about get around. Yeah, you can get around them on Atlanta. Get side to side there. So this boat just barely doesn't fit. So what I could do is I could have two of these. Mounted more on the sides here. It's technically under some stuff, but I think it fits. Fit. I mean, I could still pick it up with the crane, but I don't have that much room to do that. The crane could go there, pick it up, set it in the water. It's just not that much room around it, though. There's enough room to walk around it. If I put it there, there's not. Simply put, you cannot walk side to side. You'd have to get around the, either of the funnels. Um, I might just do that then. I, m I might just have it there, though. I might just allow that flaw to exist. And then grab a couple of other boats. Probably these guys here. So these guys look like they're three long, like this. And then I can just place a couple of these on the sides. Um, right about here. Right about here. Yeah, that fits. So that gives me uh, three ship's boats um, to pick up. 
Technically, five would be good. Yeah, five would be good, and I can use the other cranes to lift these guys, so. Yeah, I can have a set. I can have a second set right here. Um, just laid out on deck, and the cranes should be able to pick those up, too. Actually, is this... Probably want a little bit more room to walk around like that. Okay, that'll work. And then we have, uh... Yeah, all those should be... Be able to be picked up by a crane. And, uh, brought over the side. So, okay, so that's where the boats are located. Now we need more structural support here. Okay, so I think the next thing I want to do is, like, a pillar about here. Let me take this guy, set it back to zero. Um, I have plenty of room for that pillar. So I will grab a piece from Lethbridge, probably. Maybe, like, this piece to start with. Probably needs to be a bit thicker, probably needs to be taller. Although, it'd be about there. Oh yeah, and colored with paint 5. I need to fix that on my older ships. Alright, so let's let's change this to maybe 2-5. Um, so I could do something like this. Um, yeah, like we'll pull 1 meter. That kinda helps, but not really. So I could take this and put it here too. Oh, oh god, these guys need to be mirrored. I need mirror data transfer in all of them. Because, yeah, that doesn't mirror properly. Um. Ah, uh, I hate it when the pieces I have don't mirror properly. Something I need to work on, probably a lot more. Uh, alloy plate triangle. Um, color 5. Then what I can do is I can take that, put another one there, and then put another one here. Okay, so that's where the triangle is. So then I can do this and uh, this. Okay, so that helps support the platform a little more. So let's see, so if I can't really put another one in there, can I put another one here-ish? What happens then? Right? What about here? Uh, too, f too close. So which one do I need? I need, let's just set that to zero. That's easier work. Um, actually, I'm going to put between them. 
Hello, these supports. Actually, let me grab them from, uh... Let's destroy, is this pin... Yeah, pin core? Yep. Let me grab them from pin core. I still need to get pin core's, uh... Successors done at some point. The, uh, Saint Marie. Where... Which piece is the sign? Not that one. Is it on this one? Is it on this one? Is it on here? No, it's not there. It's not there. Oh, oh, I see. There we go. It's on this guy. It does actually kind of look cool with the one torpedo tube just angled that way. So I think I need it here, right? Yes. Okay. So, um, this is the uh, truss. So I need a truss three meters. Actually, no, I do need a truss four meters. It's just one of these scalings is wrong. It's that one. All right, so then I think you need to be 1.4, and then you need to be 2. No, nope. got that in the right position. 7? 0.6, probably. Ah, uh, 6.5, I think. Maybe six seven five. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Got that right. So that helps support that section more, which is great. Ah, and that should still allow the torpedo tubes to uh, rotate. And not, yeah, that won't interfere with them. Um, reloading could be slightly more of a hassle, but if you turn it slightly to the side, you can still, you know, line the torpedo up here, stick it in, and then, uh, haul it back over for the other ones. So you just have to change the position of this slightly to, uh, reload the torps. Which is fine. Perfectly okay. As long as, I mean, you're reloading them in port, so, you know, spending possibly an extra hour in port, um... Should be okay. So one thought is I could probably build uh, some cross beams kind of across this. Or, uh, more specifically, uh, the alloy, what are they? Down slopes. Uh, the other thought is I could have one kind of extending out from this way and going across here. I think it's better if I do um, more across stuff. I think I might want another set of this. Like, here ish, maybe? Eclipse. Okay. Length one, height one. Okay, so let's just grab this, put it there. Okay, so I can mirror that data transfer. Oh yeah, but stuff wasn't gonna be aligned perfectly because I had to do a lot of mirroring data transfers. But I still think that would that wouldn't work. Oh yeah, and the piece which it was clipping with that would be uh would be there. Otherwise, so yeah, didn't wouldn't wouldn't have worked. Um, okay, so I think we need to support the uh, interior beam. That pretty much goes through it. Um, one of these in three point four. 
I'll just reset that one to zero to make this easier. I do believe this will work, right? Let's double check. Let's double check that this can that this will miss if swinging past. Yes, it will. Okay, so I can I can place a number of these in and it'll work. And I think I'm gonna increase the uh, size a little bit. The pillars. Okay. Then one set there. Well, one issue I'm now noticing is uh, right here. I probably don't want that there, and I probably don't want that there. Um, that being said, I probably do want that there and there. Probably do want to bring these up a block too. And uh bring that back, take this, copy it over here, uh, take this, reduce that to point five, change that to point five, negative point five, um mid point two five, and apply that with mirror. So now they're all kind of going into that support. And then I probably will take this piece, copy it onto there. It's just... Mm, Okay, so we're looking at three and a half blocks. Um, problem is I would need like a truss seven for that to make sense. So, um, I'm gonna get a calculator out and just calculate this. So, so we're looking at three point, or we're looking at three point five blocks and how to get a four into that. Okay, so one would be easy. We just multiply by three point five. Um, oh yeah, we multiply 1 by 3.5. Multiply a 2 by 3.5, divide by 2. Which is 1.75. Divide that by 2 again, and that's what we'd have a 4. So, you would be... No, wait, no. Leave that one. Uh, this would be 0.875. Alright, cool. Now, up-down positioning... Good at negative point one. I think we're good at negative point one. Technically, it's a little bit more than that, but so let's let's get rid of let's say eight point seven. Uh I'll try eight point six five maybe. I'll try let's try eight point six actually. Just okay. Now we have the. Yeah, okay, now we have the top section. Okay, so... I think this does need to be 1.9. And, uh... Which one is it? This guy? No. That just needs to be moved forward by 1. I think. And that can be applied with mirror. But I am going to take this. I am going to move it up here, and I am going to turn it into a truss 2 meter. Then... Move it up. Um...
Yeah, it won't be noticeable from the bottom. So. I'll put another. That didn't work as well as I was expecting it to. Well, that's not quite. Is that quite. Is that enough room to walk under? No, it's not. Alright, so. I'm gonna cut this back even further. Um. Just so you can walk under that. So you can't walk under this section right here. Um. Can walk under here. Which actually does make that look a little bit better supported. Now I just got to do some, uh, you know, wings to the support, and I think we're good. So in that regard, uh, I'm going to start with the decoration here. So you know what? I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to grab this guy, put it here. All right, so we have a starter decoration. So let's see. Alloy downslope. So let's try a four meter downslope. Already really promising. Um, I think I need a 3 meter down slope. Uh... Right? Yeah, okay, that gets me to the edge. And then I just need to rotate this round, right? And then one of these guys is wrong, so that guy needs to be reset. Good job. Good job, me. That was not the button I was intending on pressing. That was the button I wanted to press. I screwed up. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Okay, so now those are in. Properly. I think that's starting to look pretty well supported at this point. Next place I'd put one in would be here. So I will do that, but I'll shift this one over. And then take you, and then do this alignment, and this alignment. Okay, so I think that is actually pretty well supported at this point. Yeah, that's reasonable. I think that can be reasonably expected to hold up now. Okay, that's more progress on uh, Coquitlam. So in terms of what other progress do I need to make? So we got boats in, we got masts done, uh, anti-aircraft's done, anchors are in. Um, supporting for this aft structure is done. There still needs to be some supporting work done over here. So we got to do that supporting. We got to do some supporting around the anti-aircraft guns. 
And then it's just fencing. And, uh... Decorations, I think. And a little bit more supporting over here. So I'll do the, uh, more difficult supporting first. So I'll grab this guy. Um... So, yeah, support that section. I am going to grab one of the beams here, but I am going to mess with it somewhat. So I think it is a smart idea for me to build some beams across. Probably here. What? I, I, oh, did I not grab a piece with... Uh, apparently did not... Oh, I need to grab this piece. There you go. I was being stupid. I was really confused when nothing was placing. So, I am not expecting this beam to align properly. As I said. Uh, I'm going to change its up-down scaling to 0.3. And it's up down positioning also probably to point three. Um I might do point two. Uh, like point two here. Uh point four. And then see what I can get out of this. So then this probably goes down to point two. Yeah, okay, I think that works okay. This is an easy uh, structural beam I can put in. Then I can probably, if I wanted to, put another one in here. Hold up. screwed up, so. There we go. So we have a set across the center, and we have a set kind of on the outside. Holding that uh, section up. And I might do a set there, too. Okay, so in the next spot I could get one of these in is here, which I actually think I will do. And then once again... here. So that kind of helps, helps keep those supported. Okay, so what if I put one here? That doesn't align with that perfectly, but I can adjust that position slightly. That it does. Okay, so now take that, move it there, move it there. And put one there too. Alright, so then do the same here. And it looks like we are going to need another support in about here-ish. So I'm going to take this guy, put it here, set to point 0.3. Are these guys set to point 0.3 or what? 2.5. Actually, you know what? 
do this. That's closer. That's point 0.4 and give it a 2 meter alloy pull. Okay, yeah, that bottom section is now really held up, I think. Let me save the vehicle. I'm not even sure that needs more supports down here. I think that is pretty well supported as it stands. Um, I'll probably get some, like, some of the triangles on. Uh, so next layer. Take it, these spots are occupied and these spots are occupied. Great. So. Here. Um... You can go down to a point two, I think. Actually, mirror data transfer. And then I'm going to set this up to a point four. Yeah, it's right on the edge. Alright, so then change decoration. Change to decoration. Grab that, put that there. Alright, so now I have an easy piece I can just kind of grab and put in like that. I might do a one, two. One, two. Well, that looks decent. And it's probably best to continue this guy and uh, this guy. Well, that was a mistake. Um, what I might do is I might do a second set there. Eh, I can have another one in. So the other thought is that we have a set here. I'm going to just take a quick look at uh, some of these real ships and realize that they don't have this any anything resembling what I'm trying to go for. Um, then I can actually grab a uh, these guys down here, put it here instead. So that gives me the additional support I need for that layer. Well, maybe what I'll do is I will, uh... Which one? Nope. Maybe I'll drag this guy back. Maybe like 0.5? Point three. Eh, point 0.25. So gives you enough room to get around. And then this guy, I think, is that... That's this one. Gives a little bit more of an angle, but not too much. Although I actually might not. I might not do this. So, I think having it on the side ones is a good idea. Um, I kind of think having it on these top ones isn't. And I'll uh, support the top ones a little bit differently. Although it is possible that only having them down here could be good looking. Uh, let's try that out, too, just to be sure. Yeah, without the top ones, it uh, it has more of the look I'm going for. I'm gonna actually put a couple telescopes up top. AI. Yeah, um, I 
just had a realization. You could use the telescope model for rangefinders, probably. I'm gonna build something like that at some point now. Just realize that that's a decent decoration option. We'll get rid of this square. Put one in there. Or we could do like this. Or even just one telescope. Just look around. Yeah, I'll do the one telescope. Alright, so I still gotta put in more supports. I think the next set, the next obvious set is here. Um, uh, these guys are gonna go down to point two, and then... Move this to point six five. Uh, point five five. That still gives enough room to operate the uh, searchlights. Which have additional pieces I don't need on them. Yeah, you can still bit around that, but I might reduce these to point one five maybe. Um I'll do point two five and uh you set that to zero. That should give you enough room to uh operate the searchlight and still provide good support uh, for that. And then I think I would need another one in here-ish. Put that at point two, so you have a little bit more room to squeeze through. No, I don't want that. Okay. So that back section there is now supported. Still need supports on the uh, AA mounts too. Um, so I did do it on the other ships. If I look at uh, another ship where I have these AA mounts like uh, Pincor. Yeah, Pincor has some supports there. Or um, St. John. Uh, John doesn't as much. She does down there. Okay. We're getting really close to putting in fences. Okay, so the next thing is I probably want to put some supports here and some supports here. And I do have the beam going across, which helps. So one thought is I could do this. Yes, that works. Um, probably put a support in here. In that case, I'll rotate this around. Probably do that. That kind of works. Works well enough. Um, then I could do this too. Even though it doesn't perfectly support the spotlight, it works well enough. I'll have to uh, probably get another thing in there to properly support the spotlight. Um, that does look like it supports that section well enough, though. So. I'll take it. Here. Okay, that should be point three five. Mirror that. Point 
four, four. Yeah, that is. Uh, yeah, that has one. There we go. Put that in, get the point six five in there. All right. It's looking fairly supported. I'm considering getting rid of the supports on the top layer, so... I can always add these back on later. Considering getting rid of those. I think that, I think that does make it look better, actually. So I think that that's justified. Now, if I actually go to those uh, drawings, a well, not drawings, uh, Sketchfab models of Atlanta and Dido, um, their superstructures are way more simple than this. And not, I mean, Dido does have some of what I'm talking about, but not all of it. Doesn't have it uh, there. They're really simplified structures in World War or superstructures around World War Two. So I think this will work with some uh, other supports up top. Um, I probably want to uh, stick some of these guys in, like, I would say there. I would say there. Um, I'm going to move it in a little bit. Maybe here. That would be another good location for that. And then we still gotta support the AA guns a little better. So in this case, work like this, I assume. Did that work? It looks like a lot of these ships just don't even have this. Although these are heavier anti-aircraft guns, so eh, I'll, I'll accept it. I think being over-supported is better than being under-supported. Alright, so then I could do... Eh, do these guys even need it? I don't think these guys need it. This guy might. Oh yeah, because I, I can do this because of uh, how I have these oriented. That could use some supports, but not of this sort. Um. Alright, so mirror the data transfers here. I want like a beam going across uh, this set to um, at least on this one and that one. So let's grab the beam piece. So is that here? Okay, yes it is. Alright, so the beam, move it back a block. Uh, zoom 0.45, 0.35. I might do one five in terms of that scaling and uh up down probably point three. There we go. That's an easy piece, easy enough piece to uh copy and paste. that in the 
the wrong spot. Let me just get rid of that. So I can just use this. I probably don't want to use it to support those guys, but using it to support these guys is fine. It gives it a little bit more... Yeah, a little bit more volume to that structure makes the guns look uh, like they're actually on something. Okay, save the vehicle again. There's a... Abbotsford's near done. Oh, right, I need the funnels. I need functional funnels. Let me do that. Well, let's get the funnels done, because we need smoke coming out of them. So, uh, first step. This is fuel engines, exhaust pipes. Oop. Uh, actually, I should probably color these color zero. All right, so our hull pipe would go here. So we need straight pipe there. And I'll do the same here. Uh, it's back here, actually, than this one. Then we do that. Go in, blocks, lightweight alloy, place a beam down, and place a beam down. So now the next step is to make sure that these beams are properly painted, which currently they're not. And I forget which color I need, so I'm going to go to another ship. Uh, her funnel's a little bit more complicated, so I'll grab one of the small ones. You Paint 9. Paint 9 is pure black. Uh, paint 9. And then I need to grab a bit of smoke. So she's oil fired. So she'll have oil fired smoke. And it will probably be relatively similar to uh, pin cores. A little, a little larger. So. Um, size. Let's go up to like 2.5, do a little bit more speed. About three in terms of size. Three is a little too much, I think. 2.5 seems good. So I think that's the setting I want. It's a little, it's still there, it's a little gray, a little more translucent, so you can see through it. You know, it's clear she's an oil-fired ship. I might... I might increase this to like... 0.6, and then use the alpha. Point one two. We get a little bit of a whiter and lighter smoke. Yeah, okay, that looks good. Man, I am liking how Coquitlam's coming along. This is... I'm happy with this. I'm really happy with this cruiser. Oh, right, there's one thing I forgot. Uh, this little aft gun right here. It should have something like this surrounding it. Maybe not that big. I might aim this up a little bit. Oh man, this one's good. Imagine what happens when I finally switch 5 over to the paint. So the reason I'm putting my superstructure on 5 and my hull on 3 is I've thought about it, and some of my pre-war paints are actually not going to have any camouflage on them. Um, 
what they're actually going to be is they're going to be like a uh, different hull color and uh, superstructure color. So I'm now engaging in this practice so that that sort of paint is easy to apply. I have to fix some of the older ships for that. I, I think even Lethbridge has to be fixed, um, which I will have to do at some point. Uh, Pincor, I think, was built uh, built with that color scheme in mind. Lethbridge was not, so Lethbridge will need it. It's weird. It's still really weird thinking that all these ships are in service at the same time. Especially Lethbridge with the other three. I mean, look at this. Lethbridge versus this destroyer. Like, this destroyer, dimensionally, is like the same size. Pin Pincourt and Lethbridge are dimensionally very similar to each other. Um, and yet, Lethbridge is a cruiser and Pincourt is a destroyer. This is just a really old protected cruiser. Well, I guess she was functioning more like a destroyer towards the end. Um, if she did need to get into battle. But only with the six inch guns. Maybe it would have been better with like five inch dual purpose I'm thinking about. Or five inch auto loaders would be a nice fix for the left bridge. That would require an actual refit. Yeah. I will say, I'm happy with this whole profile. Okay, so. I still need some supports here. Still need some additional supports there. Um, fen then fences. And deck clutter. Then I think we're actually, we are, we would be done. So. In terms of the additional support I want to grab. It's this piece right here. Okay. Although I will have to adjust stuff. Interesting, there's not actually a piece here. Why? Oh. Okay, so there are some places I can put this. Like, um, here and here are good spots. This is a good spot as well. Um, I probably do want one back here. If I do this, probably want to take both these guys to 1.2. Not going to put it on the lower layers, I don't think. There's a, uh, there's some justification, like, here. Actually, this might make the... Hold up. Um... I want that. Um, I don't know why I didn't apply with mirror, but okay. Um, and then this is the one I'm gonna use for the rest of these. So I'd place a bunch. I'd place. I think only that set down in this set. This set I'm just gonna set one of them to point five. And be done with that. Um, but here, I have them both at 4 or 5 now, so I can put one there, that'll be at 4 or 5, I can put one there, that'll be at 4 or 5. It's a little bit more irregularly spursed, but who cares. Then here, we can have a set. Um, I'll probably want to set there. Probably want to set there. Actually, over here, probably do want to set here too. Here.
Okay, that's fixed. So that was a little screw up I had, and uh, this didn't copy over. That's odd. Sometimes it just happens. Okay, so anytime it's a flat surface like this, I can put these on. Probably don't care much for it there. I probably do want this uh, here and here. And back here. So here, here. That's a good spot. Even though one of those is now a you know, double, but don't want one there. Okay, so let's think about this. So I want one. Hmm. Gonna need a double there. So we can do a single here, single here. And I'll do a single there and then figure out something for that searchlight. Actually, you know what? We will. We will figure out something. Uh, alloy downslope 2 meter. Good job, me. Good job. Alright, so. Uh, I'm just gonna delete that decoration. Okay. Copy that. Add new decoration. Paste it. Then swap that. Okay, so now that's supporting that. Cool. I can actually use this piece. A couple of other spots I want to up here. So I want to put one there. Um, but I don't want this side. And I don't want this side. Nope, wrong side. So apply with mirror. I'm actually going to get rid of this piece, copy this decoration, then apply this with mirror to place that piece back down. So now I have it. So now I can place it here. And here. And here. And here. I think there's another location I want it down there. Okay, so now I'm forgetting which way it's... Oh wait, no, it's facing this way. Okay, cool. I think I do need this in a couple other locations. Like, here would be good. So right now it's facing backwards. Uh, let's do a, a three meter, a uh, two meter down slope. But, uh, okay, yeah, point one. And that, that's a piece which doesn't have anything else on it, so I can do this. Then go to the other side and uh, do that. And now that's a little bit better supported. Don't need it there. Um, don't need it there. Do need it here. Then uh, set that to point five and apply mirror. Okay, that works. It's helping uh, keep that piece supported. I actually probably do want um. 
some form of this support on there too. Maybe I'll use, I might use this guy. Okay, that's now on there. Um, let's take this, put it here, convert you to a uh, downslope uh, meter. Oh. Yeah, one meter. Apply with mirror. Now do that. Get rid of the mirror and apply it again. And that's our that's a double right there. So I can take the double and put it here. Um so I probably need another support right about here, holding that up. And I probably want another one aligned at a 45 degree angle here. So I think these are at point one, right? Is that point one or are these at, yeah, they're at point one. All right, so actually, so these are 0.5. Okay, 0.5 forward backward scaling. Uh, 0.5. Then these are uh, up down 0.2. Okay, so need to get that need to get that position arranged. But now we can do a 45 degree yaw. Um, Do that and then do a uh, point seven. Um, apply that with mirror. So now that's held up pretty, pretty better, pretty much better. Um, technically, the it would it would be better if I supported the corners. All right, fine. You are a two meter downslope now. Um, I'm going to swap the point 0.5 and the point 0.7. Set that. Now... Change your forward backward, change your left right. And uh, change your angle. 26 degrees probably. Nope. Let's try 60, 70 degrees maybe. Uh, point six. Five, sixty degrees. Um, left, right, positioning more this way. Oh, that's point seven. Sorry. Then forward, backward, a little bit more this way. And that aligns and supports the piece well. Cool. So then. I'm going to apply that with mirror. I want to copy this decoration, add a new decoration, paste it in. So is this going to be yaw 30? I think so. Okay, so I need to adjust these positions. So I think I need to swap them. Up there. Yeah, okay, that works. Then I need to do this and get rid of the front one. Only leaving that back one there. This section here is technically slight. I would say technically slightly under supported, but all of the it has a bunch of other supports working for it, so I think that that's valid. 
I think this is valid. That's sick enough. This is valid. That's all valid. I'm not seeing areas which need more supports. I think we're done with the supports. Coquitlam supports are done. Hooray. Next step is, uh... Carly floats. So let me go grab a Carly float. And uh, start pasting some on. So one easy spot to put Carly floats in is just kind of on deck here. I can probably stack, like, multiple of them. I know I have stacks on some of my ships, but... If I look at the model of, uh, Atlanta, she have... She does not have... Oh, she does have some stacked Carly floats near the, uh, lifeboat area. So, I can do that. Yeah, none of these ships have them stacked, but I have them... I have enough room here to stack them. This seems like a good area to stack them. Even though, you know, no crane's gonna lift them in the water. But, you know, they're Carly floats, who cares? Um. Okay. So, I need... Okay. Let's try point 0.5 in terms of position. Seems to work. That looks like a stack of Carly floats. Although maybe, eh, maybe... Hold on. I don't think 0.5 is good enough. So let's try 0.4, maybe? Oh yeah, 0.4 works. Alright, so then this didn't technically work. But, I can just pick them up and place them down again. And also, um, when I go here, uh, I'm gonna set my settings back to 1, so I, it doesn't get really confusing. Okay, so, the other thought is that I just kinda have them aligned out like this. We just have, like, yeah, two triple stacks of these things right there. Okay, let me see if I can grab one which is a little bit more centered. Are you centered? That one's more centered. Oh, get off, get off the bow. All right, there's a perfectly valid place to put them. Could have another one, like, right there. Uh, might be good to put some kind of with the lifeboats. It just doesn't quite work. It'd probably be nice to get a better Carly float model, but at this point I don't really care. Um, oh yeah, these are ones I can just kind of align like this. That still gets me some around that boat section. 
If I need to... Well, it makes it harder to get around the... No, it doesn't. You, can go... you should still be able to get around that. It would probably be smart of me to put one there. Although, maybe more like here-ish. Another good location. Back here. I mean, this is what allows for survivors to get out. Fortunately, that would block the door, so I can't exactly get by with one there. Um, I pass the after tube, it's a little more difficult, just due to how I have the doors laid out. But place them on the deck. I could also do this instead. Which I probably will do. And then place a couple back here. I think that's a... They're fairly interspersed throughout the ship. Um, everyone should be able to reach one fairly quickly, fairly easily. How many did Atlanta have? So Atlanta has one there, one, two, three, it's technically six. The nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, from the Sketchfab model. I don't know if that's correct. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So Atlanta had twenty. Uh, Dito from their Sketchfab model. Uh, one, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty, twenty-one. It looks like I want about twenty. Maybe slightly more, because I think mines are a little smaller. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, um, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 20, 20, 20, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I have 30. Okay, we're good. Do I want a little bit more support around, like, this crane? Probably not. Okay. So we've got that done. Next step is, uh, fences. Railings. And then it's deck clutter. And then we're done. Alright, so. I'm gonna need a point here. And not all my ships have that. Do, do I have that as a prefab? I do not. Because I know I have a point on some of my ships. Is it on? It's on Pincor. There we go. In core, I'm gonna save this one. Um, railing, alloy, one meter, or I'll call it the wedge, one meter. So it appears at the bottom, and I don't get anything additional conf or confusing. So there we go. Railing wet wedge is on there now. Um, it's not perfect, but it'll work once I get the other railings in. So, good news with the railings is... I modified the prefabs. I don't have to mirror them anymore like I did on my uh, previous ships. I, uh, rotated the, um... Pole to save me a bunch of pain. So these used to be really painful to place down. Now they're not. I think it's here. Yeah, I'll place one down there. So this this has become a lot easier of a process than it used to be. So that's going to be a 4 and a 2. Um, so I'll place the 2 more forward and the 4 more back. And 
instead of grabbing the two, let me just grab this two right here. All right, so now go to the main ship itself. And then start here. Let's make sure these are placing on the correct block, right? Yes. All right, so now we get to the torpedoes. And, uh, I think I'm going to end the railing about there. How do they handle the torpedoes in this model? So, one, they just have it clipped through the fencing, and one, they just don't have fencing in the Sketchfab model, so that doesn't help. Um... You probably don't have fencing around the torpedo tubes. It's supposed to fire off this way. I might be able to get a one meter in here. I think that's going to be the furthest I can go there. Okay, so... Rotation block is here, so... One. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so now we gotta just build the... I didn't want straight right, I wanted sloped right. Do that. We can do that. Then here I need the two meters sloped right. Might not place down perfectly, but it should place down good enough. Um, although, this guy does clip into there, so I will delete that decoration. And, uh, delete, yeah, delete that decoration. Okay, that doesn't appear anywhere near as visually offensive now, even though that's still there, technically. Um, it's not as bad of a problem. Alright, so that should be that layer of railings done. So now I gotta work on the higher layers of railings on the ship. Uh, also, f I'm gonna need to spawn in my uh, carrier for a special type of railing. So, uh, hello there, formidable. I have a railing I need from you. All right, and this one is not, I don't believe this one is fixed as my other ones are. So it's this guy. Um, so this one I do think I have to mirror still. I've not fixed this yet, although it should be fairly trivial to do so. So this is, this is the railing I need for like this space. Yeah, it's not fixed. Um, I can get away with that little gap right there. That's not important. Um, Alright, uh, delete untethered. 
That needs to go in. I'll do a quick mirror. Don't need one here. That would just get in the way. Actually, this is on the wrong side. So if I'm placing them this way, I probably want to go here. Uh, are there any more on this side I did? Yeah, right here. So then this this group needs to be deleted. Um, that needs to be deleted. That needs to be placed down. I actually need one here. So, uh, do that. Point four. I think that should work. Now I can take... Oh, hold on. You didn't mirror? I thought I mirrored that piece. Thank you. And just place that there. Oh, hold on, that's a piece which is already occupied. Okay, so copy that, add new decoration, paste it in, and reverse this guy. Okay, there we go, cool. That's a double railing. Neat. So that one is mirrored properly. So I'll grab this. Okay, so I need one here. I need one here. Don't need one there, don't need one there. Um, I need one here. And here. I'll probably need to do this uh, on the aft end of the ship too. Oh yeah, and here. Okay, so I don't need one there. Do need one there. Do need one there. There. And I do need, gonna need one here. Actually, I'm not gonna need one there. That can be a normal one. So what it's linking up with will work. And the other thing I want to grab is uh, this little center one I made. Just kind of put these in front of the uh, five inches. Okay, with that pain out of the way, I'm saving real quickly. Oh, part of me wants to put a ladder in right here. That part of me is really wanting to put a ladder in, so uh, yeah, we're remo I'm removing that piece, and I'm putting a ladder in. Because I actually do think that's pretty important to have a ladder back there. And I'll probably do one on the other end, too. Assuming there's enough room. Yeah, there is. Actually, this one, I can buy with it in the center. Which is a little better. Actually, there's part of me which is considering, like, doing a plate, like, right here. And I'll hold the fence up. But I don't know, is that a little bit over-detailed, maybe? I think that is. I don't think I need that. I was like, the fences do add a lot. And so does the deck clutter. Okay, so for the rest of this, I think I can just use normal fences. I don't think I need 
to uh, justify having these other ones anymore. Alright, so one meter slope left is what I need. Um, boop, 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 boop. Um, I can do that on this side. Let me just get all the one meter slopes. Anything which needs a one meter slope, I'll just go over here. Or I also want the, uh, what is it, the things which direct the splash out. I need those still. I forgot about those. I'll get back to railings. I need to do that. That needs to be here. Um, so I know I have these on a few ships, but not, not this one. Uh, I think I'm lagging because I have Formidable in play. I'm going to despawn Formidable real quickly. Scrapper. Finally getting in, finally getting into some form of groove here with this now that I kind of I'm at this point I'm at the point I need to be at uh, something I want to check okay so Dito has this right Sketchpad model just is a solid thing Atlanta probably doesn't have one um how is it on, like, real ships? If I look at real pictures of Dito. I mean, Juno doesn't have it. Uh, Dito. Image in new tab image in new tab okay so it does have some supports there that's good to know yeah okay so as much as I do want to wave bake I probably do want to support it somewhat um, I actually think I have an interesting idea on how to build this all right so we're gonna start with a mimic alloy Uh, you are going to be in a pleak panel. Uh, probably a one meter a pleak slope. Pitch back. Um, I think I need to color you with the. Uh, what's the standard uh, deck color paint? I paint stuff with here. What's that standard? Uh, you seven. Okay, seven standard. Seven or eight. Eight. If I want uh, something to be, you know, more in line with the camouflage color, seven with is without. Um, that's kind of the system I worked out. All right, so is this? That's going to be left-right scaling, one point five. I probably want a slight forward pitch. So I'll try eighty-five. Be eighty. Um, okay, so we start with this prefab it. Um, place it over here, and then. Wait, hold on. Oh no, this should be probably 1.75. These should be 1.75 wide. Okay, I didn't get that exactly right, but close enough. Okay, so then we have kind of an additional uh, section, which I guess I'm confined to oblique panels now, so uh, yeah, that's something. 
Alright, so now you gotta be angled at 45 degrees. And, uh... Okay, so is this... Okay, so I'll give it a little bit... Oh. That means I have to increase the yaw. That remains out, I need it to slope down. So let's try 50 on the yaw. And uh... 20... 20 and 60. There we go, that gets me kind of what I want. I'll go 2 here. Um, There, maybe? I'm gonna be a little too slow now. Um, it's not working as well as I was hoping. Yeah, it would start here, I think. I guess you could do that. Okay, so then this guy... Do that. Left, right. Up, down. Or eight, maybe. I mean, that's pretty exact, actually. That kind of works. Um, as the wave break thing. Although, I'm not confident. I'm not confident in this. So, goodbye, 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 goodbye. We're just going to make this easier. Uh, alloy plate is what I want. Actually, you know what? Put it here. Ninety. I should be painting this with seven. Yeah. All right. So up down scaling will be two. Um, that means it's getting a brief lag spike there. So I can do that. go to like 70 degrees on the pitch. Um, up down positioning should be slightly lower. Um, or there's no data to mirror it to. It's actually a little tall. So we'll go down to a four.
reduce the scaling slightly backwards. Here, the data transfer. Do that so it's a little lower. Okay, so now we place a mimic alloy down here, and hello, it's our old friend triangle generation. Uh, use alloy, and try a thickness of 0.1. Okay. Weird lag in this mode. Why? Okay, you know what, I'm pulling other ships out of play. For now. I'll have to put them in play later, but um, for now they're out of play to improve frame rate. Okay, game looks a lot smoother now. Triangle generation. Uh, a should be a little more forward. About there. And a little bit down. B should be further back. And then C should be massively out this way. Um, okay, so that's part way over. Um, probably actually want to go all the way over. Technically it does have a little slope at the end. Uh, I'll model that. I'll model that slope. Screw it. Oh, I'm going to do two triangles here. So normally you'd be looking at about 3.5. Um, I think in this case you're looking maybe 3.75 if I'm right. Yeah, I think you're looking at 3.75. And then C's Y coordinate probably needs to be 0. All right, so then, okay, so that's one. All right, so mirror that data transfer. I'm going to put another one here. So triangle generation, we'll add one to that. Um, it'll be 0.8. Point two maybe one point eight Yeah okay B Okay so we've shifted it one over and two back Apparently B um, so would this be one or five? Yes, it would be. Okay. So then, okay, because that one's there. Actually, it would probably be nice to move that one forward. Like that. That works. Could have just done that for the other one. Then here, I want another one. So, triangle generation. Two. No, no. Keep that at one. No, two. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the same triangle, but then I'm gonna adjust it to the new triangle I want. I think that becomes three. That's two. Right. Uh, no, that's two. I'm only adjusting these by one. Okay, so I'm going to do an embed to the left. 
and A is going to move. So uh, A's Y is going to become negative 0.5. That's on deck. C's. Okay, so we'll start this at the same position as C. What the f put in a negative number. Alright, so then A in terms of X is gonna go out to uh point five and then in terms of Z it's probably gonna go all the way back to point five like this. Then generate that forward triangle. Was that that's a block? Okay. And then add a new decoration here and uh color it five and then generate the backward triangle. No, no, hold on. Color it seven. Now we're good. Alright, so that's that uh, put in. We need the supports for it now. And thankfully these ones should be pretty easy to add. Alright, so we... I'll start with one here. I am actually going to use the triangle generator, so let's try um, 0 0.5 for all this. Okay, so move A back. Actually, delete the decoration and work on the triangle generator first. So, so A would not be that far back. A is probably around 2. Uh, B should also be negative X, I think. Um, then maybe 0 here. Uh, I'll do negative 0.2 maybe. That would be vertical. That's fine. Vertical's fine. Uh, maybe 0.15. Nah, I think vertical's good. And then C, that would be negative, that would be negative, and I think this is negative too. And now add a new decoration, generate a triangle, embed to the other side, generate it. And apply that with mirror. Seriously? Seriously. Thank you. Alright, so then... Okay, you know what? A, Y has to be 0. 0.45. Or maybe 0. 0.42. Yeah, okay, that's better. Alright, so now we take this, get rid of this. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay. So, th this guy, one of these is not right. This guy. That guy needs to be reset. Okay, cool. And then, actually, for this guy, I'm going to take this guy and move this to about maybe. I might reset that too. So, that's also centered. Now, my question is does that look good? The support straight up. I think it. I think it does. So now we have the issue that we have to uh, add in some, or add in the, uh, triangles like this over here. And I'm gonna put one on. I think. Um, you know, delete all. I'll put two. I'll put two on. Okay. So take it. 
angle it at 45 degrees. And then we'll just adjust its position. And then up, down should be a little lower. Apply with mirror. Take one, put it there. Alright, so then you... Um, you'll go out more here-ish. I'll play around the number slightly, up, down, position should be a little more adjusted, apply with mirror. There we go, that's supported now. Alright, so now I can go back to finishing up all of the uh, railings. Now uh, that little adventure's done. We got that supported. Or that built. That little uh, wave break thing. All right, I I need more of these guys right over here. Oop, oop. I think that's it for this piece, right? Except up top. Actually, up here we are gonna need uh, more railing. So, oop, oop. This one I'm not gonna have any. Considering not having any, I should say I might actually have some. I will. I will. Boop. And boop. Then up here. I need to check something. What about back here on the flag? Not great. I need a ship without, uh, or with a flag on the back without the uh, depth charges. So that might be St. John. St. John might be the best bet there. So she, she has one. Yes. Okay. Although, she has a different set of supports than what I was working with, though. She doesn't count. God damn it. Um. Okay, so, how, how are we going to do this? So I'm going to take this. Take this fence. I'm gonna place it. Uh, you know what? Which way? I think it's this way. I need to orient it. Yeah. Okay. Delete this decoration, and we're good. Is there a piece here? Yes, there is. So I can just place one there. Then I can just do that there. I can do that there. I can do that there. Um, I will place a set of these pieces here, but I need the, uh, other thing to work out. The, uh, railing to work out. Thankfully, that's easy. So, railing, straight left. Put that in. Then grab this guy. Rotate him there. That was a, uh, fuck up. All right, railing straight left. Try again. Okay, so this guy up here doesn't have any, so he should be fine. And there we go. I don't go all the way in. Um. All right, so get rid of you. Get rid of you. And do the same over here. You're gone. You're gone. So. What I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to grab this piece. Uh, no, I'll grab this piece. So it's that side. So that side's not going to place, the other side will. So I want this over here. And then this will work. Yes, yes, that worked. All 
All right, so then I need this piece over here. Uh, and then this is where things are going to get a little odd. Um, I think I need this to be 0.4 again. Um, that, forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. Apply with the mirror. Apply with that with the mirror. That works. Now, this piece here, if I toggle off mirror mode, should work. Um, it will mean I might have to do a little bit of custom railing. Alright, so, copy you, add a new decoration, paste you in. Uh, so that would be this. Um, settings, I'm not going to set that to 0.4 anymore. I guess technically I got a have a slight yaw. I feel like 20 degrees. Maybe 30 degrees. Nah, that's a little too much. 2 5. Okay, copy that. Add a new piece in. Paste it. And up down position, move it to there. No, nope, a little lower. Alright, uh, so copy that, add in a new decoration, add in a new decoration, paste it. Negative, negative, no, no, negative, negative, paste, negative, copy this one, paste it here. Negative, and negative. There we go. Now that piece is in. Okay. So, now... I'm going to need to grab a one meter straight left. Place it in here. But... Surprise, surprise! This guy, uh, these guys got to go out. So, you got to go. Um... Let's do calculation, or let's do 0.25. So that's got to go 0.25 forward twice, right? Um, um, Actually, you know what? That's not quite 0.25 forward. That's got to be 0.6 forward. Okay, settings back to 1. You got to be 1.1 uh, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now that's good. So then I can get by with a 3 meter straight here. That works, and then I can use a one meter straight up here. I should probably save. Do that. And yeah, now everything should just kind of start falling into place. So I need a one meter straight here, I need a one meter straight there, I need a one meter straight there. Uh, now the rest of this can be four meter. So, four meters straight out. One, right there, right there. That would need to be a two. I can do one there, and then uh, one meter straight L. There, and then this. Would a two meter straight L work there? Yes, it would. All right. So now we get into this portion of the ship. I'm gonna. S Okay, this is where we have a little bit of a complication. I think I can do a 2 meter there, and then I can... Tr 
I can do a one meter. What? So I'll place the one meter down, and it'll get the decos. It won't place down the mimic, but I think it, I think I got by without that mimic. So do a three meter. I need two meter here. This can be a four meter with a one meter. A little two meter here. Oh, I, s I actually see where I might have more stuff. All right, so this is where stuff gets complicated again. Um. Actually, it's solvable. This is solvable. Hold up. So this I can do a three meter uh, right on. Now I line it forward and get a. Uh... Okay, so I can put one here and I put one there. So I need a two meter straight or a three meter straight left there and a two meter straight right here, and that works. And now I have to build back here. So uh, we're going to run into an annoying problem here. Uh, let's grab this guy. So. so that piece I can just place down without any issue. I can place you down without any issue. I can place you down without any issue. And then I just got to grab one of the center ones. I think there were closer by ones, but I'll just grab one from the bow. Probably one's on the stern, too. That, put it in, that back on. Alright, so, I think this is just four meters straight left. That's a four meter, that's a three meter. Uh, this will be a one meter. This could be annoying, though. I get this wrong. Okay, you know what? Okay, I'll get it right. Cool. That'll work. Oh, yeah, and the railings are also paint five. I don't care that much. It'll just have to be that way. Uh, or not paint five, paint three. I don't have a separate set for paint five. It's a small enough detail that you won't notice it. Um, okay. This needs to be a four, then a one. needs to be a three, four, four, and a one, and are we all, is, oh no, it's, the ship is not entirely railed yet, um, that, that's something to take out of context, I suppose, I think that's good. I think now it's entirely real. No, 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 I found an area, found an area, right here. So, this needs to be a one meter slope. And I think we need a... Th I'll just go with a two meter, because we, we need that crane to function. So this is technically an open spot, because of the crane. Now are we good? Are we good now? Got that. Two half decks back there. I think so. I think that's I think that we're good on that. Okay, yeah, this is looking to be a good design. I probably need a little bit more lead on the bottom. Um get her a little lower in the water. Just uh just a touch though. She's pretty close to uh, where I want her to be floating. Yeah, let's get let's get a little bit more lead in the bottom. Um let a little more lead on our keel. 
should just get the flotation to where I want it to be. I think, if, I, I literally think if we just do this layer right here, she'll be there though. Sinks are down just a little bit more, I'm guessing. Yeah, it does. Okay, we're good. Alright, so now is the phase I call, um, deck cluttering. So, the first thing we do for deck clutters, we have to add these little pieces in. Uh, I believe these let her tie up at docks. So the first step to deck clutter is this. Well, I guess technically the first step is the Carly float, but, you know, second step is this. Place some of these occasionally. Actually, no, probably the first place to put it should be there, and then she should probably have a second one, like, here-ish. Doesn't need one all the way back there. Place one in front of the torpedo tubes. Maybe more here-ish. Okay. Oh, hey. There. Place another one there. Now we can move on to her bow. Place another one there. And maybe another one like here. Okay, so now we gotta grab a bunch of other little details. So, got, uh, I assume, I think these are gangplanks. And we'll put a couple... I'm looking up, uh, models. Uh, Sketchfab models. They do have some. Or they do have one, it looks like. But yeah, she might, only, she might only need one. It might be kind of like a long side of the boat like that. So I'm seeing in the uh, Dido model. What, what would I see in the Atlanta model? Guy made in Sketchfab. Nothing, nothing. The Atlanta model doesn't even have one. So, okay, there's the gangplank. And uh, now we need all the little bits of deck clutter. So, little bits of deck clutter are this piece, these pieces, uh, this, which the first one I like to do is the ammo boxes. You know, figure out, figure out all the ammo box locations or like little toolkit stuff. I usually have these around guns and pretending they're like storage lockers and stuff. Uh, that might be wrong. That might be wrong, and it might be more uh, historically accurate to do uh, have a uh, something mounted lower. It might might be fine for these guns. Might be fine for the uh, light anti aircraft. Um, I think I only really fit one in right there. Other than like here with the boat, Maybe a little bit. Uh, probably not. This is kind of cramped. A lot of staircases here. Fit one here. One here. Okay, so um, play some around uh, these mounts. I think that's all of our interior craft guns. Place a couple up here on top of the bridge. A couple of toolboxes. Um, I think we got most of the toolboxes. Well, I'll place more down, kind of on like the catapult deck. But uh, I'll grab more a little later. What color are these? Paint five. What? They paint five. You should be paint seven. Okay, so I screwed that up on the other ship. I don't know why they're paint five rather than 
as it should be. Uh, it's not something I realized was wrong with uh, St. John. But oh well. Just uh, fix all the ones on here. Oh, that a a gun does. Oh, it does have some. Okay, I did I did put them on. Okay. Um. Actually, let me. One thing I should do is I should get the bow done. I need to get the deck clutter on the bow done before I get it done on the rest of the boat. So one good place to put it would be around here, um, just in front of the wave break thing. Uh, I'm going to add a couple more forward. I think there's some stuff I should add more forward. Make it look a little less plain. I'm not fully sure I should be adding these up here. I don't think I should. Probably also put them behind the weight break rather than front. Probably a better location. Alright, next block I want to grab is. Um, let me make sure my stream's been well. I think, oh yeah, drop frames is zero. Yes, it's been running really well. My internet's not been garbage tonight, apparently. So, that's good. My connection to Twitch has been fine. This is a more specific way to put that. Alright, so this is cable. Cable should probably be in various places. Like, I... I feel like the float plane catapult would use cable in some way, so having a couple cable things there would probably be good. These cranes definitely use cables. Um, so, you know, having spare cableage. I could put that there. It would rotate through it, though. Hmm. Can't fit around the cranes as much as I thought I could. Uh, goodbye, that box. There's the cable. There's, like, spare cable for the cranes. Actually, goodbye to uh, this box as well. There's more spare cable. So I just can't fit it around that funnel. Uh, do want some with the mast as well. So, uh... There's some spare cable there. Um, hmm... Kind of technically tied in the mast. Right there. Right there. That's a good spot for spare cable. Or spare cable. Uh, I'll put a set here, too. And it looks like I probably do want to get away with some on the bow. And stern. So, uh... I have a couple sets of it here. It'll appear red when I'm in build mode, but when I'm out of build mode, it will it will not appear red. Thank goodness. And I'll have a couple on the stern. Um, I'll put it there. Maybe a second set over here. Actually, no. Eh, it's a good place for a second set. I'll have it there. So you get more cable, kind of by the crane area. Or it's a little bit more believable. Although I think some of that's for rope for like tying the ship up. So, oh well, good enough. Um, she's starting to become detailed. Uh, so I need to grab other parts. I would normally grab them from her, but apparently she has some issues with uh, the colors of her parts. So I'm gonna pull her out of play. Might have been the case where uh, I grabbed her stuff off another boat, which had the uh, same mistake. Because St. John's a fairly recent build for me. Oh, Lethbridge's are paint 5 as well. I did not realize that. Receiving. Receiving. 
So some of these are paint. Yeah, okay. Pin core is paint seven. So whatever whatever ship I grabbed it from for uh, pin core, I had that right. On. All right. So this is kind of like a uh, hatch sort of thing, I think. Or maybe this is more of a locker. But I think it's a good idea to place that down there, at the very least. Um, I don't know if there's another good location to put that in. I probably won't, actually. Now, one thing I probably want at the bow, which I'm now thinking about, is uh, a specific piece. Okay, so I'm going to create a new decoration piece. Well, not a new decorative piece, but one I haven't really been using, and I'm going to take a careful look at what my options are before placing it down. Recoil suppression barrel. Easy. Um, pro yeah, probably one of these barrels. Alright. Hitch it. Um, Squash it a little bit. Uh, maybe make it a little bigger. Undo that. And you grab a little hatch from pin court. I'll place down like two hatches here. Make them a little bigger, actually. Um, all right, color seven, I have to adjust so that it has probably a little bit more green, a little more of a blue balance. A very difficult color to get right. Might take this and uh, do like a smaller tie. Okay. Will that work? That work. It's a little smaller, but um I think that'll work. I can have a couple of these guys in a couple locations, and that kinda helps uh detail out the bow a little more. Um Okay, so there's another piece I need to grab, which I haven't brought over yet. I'm actually technically another two pieces. This guy. This little piece got to be brought over. There's a couple of them down. place them behind everything too. The last piece I need to grab is uh where is it? So I gotta grab this piece. Is this the last piece of deck clutter I need? So I am gonna put a couple down like here ish. And maybe maybe here. Some behind. Oh right, there are more um more of these guys in your grab. I need to grab like this too. 
got all the hatches. Uh, I got some hatches on. Um, I got larger hatches. I probably should grab some smaller hatches, too. Do remember that the gangplank's on the other side. Probably have been smart to remember. Okay, um... That's the last part. Oh yeah, I will grab a normal side, or one of the... And one of the smaller hatches. Come on, give it to me. Alright, so, the smaller hatches, I'm going to place down at some point. Uh, I'm not sure where is most appropriate. Maybe here. Start placing one down. Okay, so we actually are making some progress. I, I, I think the smaller hatches are more like anti-aircraft equipment and such. And uh, aren't really as useful on this ship. I can't, it's not really that good of a location. Maybe what I do is I get rid of this. Put down something like there so it's kind of like an ammo locker or something. In, in the down in the ship a little more. Um, I might put I'll put a set there. Little kind of lockers in the floor, of some sort. I don't know. I think I did the larger ones I got in the bow for like uh, you know moving crew around. Okay, so the bow. Ends here. So I do actually need some of, or a couple more of these. Up here, though, it's not bow. That's a normal ship. So. Yeah, I'll place that down. Place some more of these hatches down in various spots. Probably want one kind of by the torpedo tubes. It'd be good to get one here. Any anti aircraft guns. I'll do that. I'll put another one there. Uh, I'll have one there, and I'll uh, I'll place one here too. Maybe one behind this turret as well. Okay, there we go. I think that's it for the hatch-like things. I need to uh, complete the bow. I think. Yeah, complete the bow. Uh, in terms of this, and then move on to the rest of the boat. That's got to be the goal. Bow done, and then everything else. I think that's all the deck clutter I'm going to need on the bow. I might put that there. That's a block which is already occupied. Um, let me go back to the bow and uh, grab those other couple blocks I need. So you, for example, I'll place that down there. 
Now go back to the bow and uh, grab this guy. That should be the main last uh, building piece we need for the rest of this boat. This will go well. Oh, that's a decent location for that. I could probably get one in there. I'll probably get another toolbox in there. I'll put one of those there. I don't I don't think I need these or can fit them in the other locations. Oh yeah, these anti aircraft guns don't have any uh, boxes around. I should probably fix that. Because it's like absurdly difficult to actually find a good spot to put one. Like there. That's a decent spot. Do that. A couple toolboxes in. Right, where are. Where's that other piece I need? Here it is. I need some of these guys in various spots. I have one there. I don't have one in this section. Probably gonna save one. Probably put it more like here ish. A couple there. I can probably stick a couple up here actually. I could, I could put some of these down around the torpedoes too. It's kind of like internal boxes of some sort. Maybe this one over a block. Okay, so get a couple more of these guys down in a couple of spots. Like here. And I probably can't fit it there, so... Eh. I'll place it set there. I'll place it set there, too.
There was one point where I thought that you could have too much deck clutter on a ship. That that sailed. That point sailed way long ago. Or that ship sailed way long ago. <laughs> I, I no longer believe that. I, I'm now like, oh, hey, empty spot? Here, let's put a box on it! Does that make sense? Boxes make sense. I love boxes. Okay. Um, pretty good. there like uh these boxes there can't be good yet there's got to be something i'm missing so we got the forward superstructure uh you could probably put a probably fit a little box in here mm, actually this spot's pretty good for one too Imagine, like, a real naval architect or real naval historian looking at my ships and trying to think, why are your decks so cluttered? Are you trying to trip your soldier or sailors in battle? Are you, are you trying to have your sailors trip over everything you've left on the deck everywhere? <laughs> Whenever you get into any sort of engagement... Oh, no, we're not done. I realize I have one more piece I want to add. That would be this guy, right here. We need more of him. That's what kinda happened on this boat. On this goddamn boat you built. This is the point I'm losing it. I should've just stayed present for more of the stream, then I'd have more of a chat. Ah oh well, I'm almost done. You know, getting some of these in to kind of, you know, finish off the deck clutter will work. One there. I shall put one here. I actually probably wanted one of these guys like back here too. Um, put one there, and I'll put one there. So yeah, Coquitlam. Uh, you know what? Let hold on, hold on. I gotta do one more thing. Look at that. Ah. Uh. Yes, that looks good. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with how this turned out. Other than the yellow guns, other than the yellow guns cuz they're not attached to anything and I need to get all the ammunition stuff set up and that'll that'll happen later. Um that'll be a refit I make to the ships later on. But yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Quitlam is done and Coquitlam is looking good. Oh yeah, there was one thing I wanted to add. She's not done yet. She ain't done yet. Um. All right, so you need to be paint five first of all. You get that ready. Um, and you. This is probably literally the last piece I need. I need a alloy downslope one meter. Point one. Um, calculation, so that's in point two six.
Okay, so then... That's point two, and that's point five. So then the forward backward scaling needs to be probably about one point eight. That's clipping through that slightly. Okay, so I'm gonna go down to one point seven because I think that's a little too long. Good now? I think you're good now. Outside of maybe an additional piece right here, where uh, this side needs to be deleted, uh, this side needs to be deleted, this side. To be moved back slightly so that the door can open. But now that's ported. Alright, save the vehicle. Now it's for Coquitlam. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a photo shoot, but I'm going to get a photo shoot with the proper flag rather than my own. So I need to go to, uh, I'm going to need to go in my folders a little bit. You can't see this. And just take, uh, Take her here. DL uh, Abbotsford Coquitlam. Copy. Go to my other save. Paste. Okay, she's saved, right? And I don't think there's anything else we need to do to her, right? Checking the superstructures. Yeah, I think she's good. Okay, so I'm going to switch to this profile. This is my uh, photography profile. Should I load a vehicle? Okay, now that's that's as far as I can go up. Let everything despawn. Yeah, there we go. Got the proper flag in. Okay. Yep. Actually, I, I want to go to the uh, bridge here. But she's not going to be moving in any of the screenshots because I forgot to install a uh, control thing. I'm going to do that real... Um, I will do that in uh, my normal save and then copy her over again. Um, I'll probably... When I'm done, I'll probably just copy every, or I'll probably do everything in my normal save and then copy them over. Um, so I'll get the I'll get the screenshots now. I'll quickly go back, add in the uh, driving thing, and then I'll call the stream there. But yeah, right. Always nice to get screenshots like this too. Although. That reflection. Gotta get the ass shot. Partially blocked by the flag. Looking pretty stable right now. Ooh, 
I like this. These are usually two pretty good profiles. Okay, yeah, okay, look at that screenshot. I like that view. I'm actually going to zoom out and uh, zoom in even more. Just to kind of see if that kind of helps. So yeah, uh, Coquitlam, everyone. She's done now. Alright. Let me, uh, get the, uh, driving thing in her. Real quickly, and then I will, uh, call the stream there and, uh, brag about this vehicle in uh, various discords and never post it to the workshop because I just don't do that for some reason despite the fact that I really need to start doing that. Um, she's not fun She's not properly functional right now. What's the point? I, I need to get her guns with ammunition and all them working. I'm probably going to need to wait for another update uh, to add um, to be able to add uh, local weapons controllers and stuff and hide them with mimics because that's something you're going to be able to do in the next version of the game. And it's going to be so long before these ships' uh, main point is actually done that, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so, save the vehicle. Um, so it's taken this a uh, five hour stream. The last one was a six and a half hour stream. So Coquitlam here, it winds up being about um, 11 and a half hours of work. Get her done across uh, two streams, and yeah, she's done. So, um... Oh, right, I have to uh, make sure it's connected. I was saying I captured new intelligence images of her. Uh, I'll just... Yeah, that works. Okay. So... Actually, let me let me get a good view like this. So, uh, thank you, every. Ah, uh, hold on. Thank you, everyone who joined me. If you happen to watching on. If you happen to be watching this on Twitch, links my uh, Discord, YouTube, and Twitter are down below. Uh, don't bother with Twitter. I, I argue about Rocket stuff. Um, but YouTube is where you can watch old live streams, presuming I actually upload them, which I haven't been doing well recently. I intend to. I have, like, all... Okay, I've uploaded them, I just haven't um, made them public. Uh, I, I need to keep doing that. Hopefully after this one I can get Pincore and then this series. And I want to get that Spore vehicle I built. To, like a couple months back up there too uh also um so that's on youtube uh, and if you want to join my discord uh, you can get notifications on the live stream there that would be the primary notifications of my live stream because i'm not doing it on twitter anymore because screw that uh you can also technically you can hang out not too much happens there hopefully more will start happening there over time and if you haven't been watching this on YouTube after the fact, um, which would be a miracle at this point, given how uh, how infrequently I'm uploading stuff, uh, then links to the well, links to the Twitter and Discord will both be down below as well. Uh, but for but instead of a YouTube link, which would be completely redundant, there is a Twitch link instead, which is where I originally live stream all these, of course. So with that out of the way, uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, thank you for uh, Ivan Go for the follow, and. Yeah, um, I will, okay, okay, gotta prepare for this one. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Not, not, as, not as long as I wanted to hold it for, I'll admit. 
<laughs> that was uh How was that? I don't know what else to add here. Usually I add something. Not too much is going on. I've got to... i probably got to go play with a bird. Alright. Bye!